What is going on, everybody? Happy Friday. My name is Chris, and welcome to the Chem Nation show. Rain, sleet, or snow, this alien of shininess has to glow. Will the end come today, or will Chem be forced into another week of clicking the same buttons? Is air dry? Find out today on the Cam Nation Show. <laughs> Thanks, Big Cheese. As always, good to see you. We got SCP Agent in the chat. How you doing today? 20, take it or leave it. Uh, okay. Kyle JB, what's up? Tristan is here. We got Bjorn here. The Muffin Man. Orifu's here. We got Mighty Munchkin. Goldilocks. Jerry Notso. Tyler Shanks is here. Mr. Who's here. Andre's here. Grace is here. We got Anne Marie. Hurley Loser, good morning to you. We have Ming as well, bright and early. Thank you for the early 20 likes on the live stream. How many shinies do I have? Exclamation point shiny decks in the chat. We'll, uh, we'll let you know the answer. Last, please. Come on, Hefty, there's no last message that's showing for me. Don't scam us now. Hope y'all have a good morning. That's right, I'm trying. Gotta get the shiny today. I'm gonna try my very best. I'm gonna try my very best. But yeah, uh, thank. There you go, pearly loser. That's the one. Uh, thank you, muffin man. There we go. Let's uh, replace that pin message. Let's go for like goal of 50. We got almost 200 likes yesterday. Almost 200 likes. You got me so good. You know what? This is what happens when you trust somebody. They take advantage of your trust in order to fool you. Hey, Peanut. Huh? It's rock. No, no, don't play with that. All right. All right, yeah, but click that link. Uh, check out Kem's shiny living decks across all the games. You can see which shinies I have, which ones I need. Uh, morning, Sauce K. 8404 is what we're going for. And uh, boy, oh boy, this is uh, getting close to 10,000. Deoxys has a very strong possibility of becoming my longest shiny hunt ever. We still got about 6,000 left to go. Um, nothing there. Nothing there. Ooh. So, anyone get any shiny cast forms? I went out for my uh, evening walk last night. I did get a shiny uh, sunny form cast form. I'm not sure how in the springtime I'm supposed to get a snowy form. You know, maybe we get some rain and I, and I could try to get the rainy form, but I don't know how I'm going to get the snow one. Mr. Who, you beat Flannery and now do a fossil hunt for, ooh, for Anarith. Okay, good luck on that. 8409 evasive is guaranteed. Let's, uh, let's make it happen. Let's do it. Yesterday when you said I'd get Growlithe, you know what happened instead? With a bolt of lightning and a shake of the floor, our power went out. No! At least you could have put your, your device in sleep mode, right? So then that way you don't have to worry about losing uh, your chain. Hello, Kem. Gengar, good to see you. We got Evelyn in the chat. Good morning to you, Evelyn. Anne-Marie says nope. Okay. Pouring today, I've seen zero, really zero cast forms. Yesterday when I was on my walk, there was a the sunny form were just popping up everywhere. Ultra busy yesterday, all the meetings, Jerry. Oh, Anne Marie says nope with the with the cast forms. No shinies. Yeah, no shinies for Pogo. You can lurk somewhat. Nice, Jerry. Easiest game to shiny at Pearly Losers, probably Scarlet and Violet. <laughs> for the Nintendo Switch. Mighty Munchkin, hello. Oh, you did good. You put it in the chain lives. Good. Hope you get that Growlithe. Hope you get that Growlithe. Um, but no luck yet for me on the Magic Carp. I'm at 130 something eggs uh, hatched in Pokemon Crystal, and uh, no Magic Carp yet. So I am over odds on the Magic Carp. Should be a one in 128 uh, chance. Still no Deoxys, but today could be the day. Today could be the day. Game and Treat goes here every day, that's right. Mighty Munchkin, you got the Minier. Oh, last night on Violet, nice. Which, uh, which color was the Minier? 
you recall which one it is thanks for 50 people hanging out we have 28 likes so don't forget to hit the like button let youtube know that you're enjoying the content let me know you're enjoying the content and uh let's get a poll up in the chat because those are always good to have uh push start and R Here we go. There we go. Okay, here we go. Not a fan of uh of poles. Yeah, you don't like them. More of a pillar guy. Pillars are cool too. Pillars are good too. Oh, you meant 8419. Yeah, probably. You probably just were off by 10. You forgot to carry the one. Um, don't forget uh, he called ye yellow. That's right. We got to make it all yellow. Ride on a yellow fire dog. Is that too much to ask? I don't think that's too much to ask at all. I don't think uh, that's uh, the case. Yeah, forgot the, forgot the one. That's right. <laughs> you like that, Jerry, do you? Mm -hmm. All right, but uh, Yep is winning, though. Yep is winning. The buddy boy's not. No Deoxys yet. 33 likes. 33 likes. Got the kiddos home with me today, so I got to constantly keep an ear out. They got lots of crafts. They were painting this morning. The PD Day professional development at school. Schools all across uh, the province, I think. So, so the teachers are at at, uh, at work, but not the kids. All right, Deoxys eighty four fifteen. Not shiny, not shiny yet. Yeah, hi bot. All blue child, what? Go in there to an all blue child? What? Oh yeah, with the paint. <laughs> they got uh, they get little paint sets, a little a little I don't know from the dollar store, a little canvas with a picture on it, and they come with a couple little paints. They paint their pictures. I would say that they're old enough to know not to paint themselves, but sometimes they, they do they do paint themselves. Actually, they probably if they hear me saying that they'll they'll do it as a joke. They'll do it just to just to make more work for me. Um, bum, bum, ba -dum. Look at that! Not shiny yet. Not shiny. Thanks for the shiny luck, everybody. I do need it. We are officially over odds. Whoa, 100% from the Muffin Man. Little, little low on the chem tokens. Little low on the chem tokens, but uh, we'll, we'll try to make it work. We'll try to make it work. Um, look at that. Nothing yet. Longest hunt of ever term in terms of resets, Jacob, was Arceus. Arceus and BDSP, 14,738. Uh, and considering I've been shiny hunting uh, live on YouTube for like five years, the fact that my longest hunt is only 14,738 is pretty impressive, I would say. However, this is only the third hunt that I've done. That's one in 8,192. 79.2k. I know I know what the, what the number is, Eric. You don't have to remind me that the, the sub count is dropping. Um Yo Mikey, what's up? Hey do Mikey. We going to get that Deoxys today. Look at Muffin Man using the catch command getting a legendary Pokémon. We got those legends. We we got those legendaries. Man, does anyone know Unspeakable on YouTube? The YouTube channel. 
First time using that command and you got a legendary. You got the legendary. I had a dream. My kids like that unspeakables or whatever channel. I had a dream that I that I went to the same gym as the the main guy or whatever on there. And I told him that my kids really uh, like his videos. Uh, no shiny locked Pokemon. They started shiny locking Pokemon in, uh, yeah, in generation five. So nothing, nothing really shiny locked. Uh, before then, I think like in generation two, some of the, there's all of the unknowns are kind of shiny locked. You can only get shiny I and V. Gonna get it today, Spirex. I hope so. We got Storm Rum in here. We got Lars. The catch command only works for channel members, by the way. If you are not a channel member, the catch command will not work. Yeah, Neo, though. What's up, buddy? It's good to see you. You got your moon working in the game I'm making. The moon working. The moon. Two female Pokemon couldn't be shiny in Gen 2 uh, because of uh, IVs or DVs. Female Pokemon could be shiny. They just, um, I think specific females can't be. If you're breeding in a daycare, uh, you can you can get females that are shiny or males. For instance, the odd egg, if you hatch the odd egg, I'm not sure about all of the hatches, but all of the shiny odd egg Pokemon will be female, except for Tyrogue, because that's a male only Pokemon, I think. Johnny Unknown and Gen 2 being locked is more pro- Yeah, exactly. It's not an intentional shiny lock. It's uh, it's because the, the values that determine whether a Pokemon is shiny in the Generation 2 games are the same values that determine uh, what letter it is. Yeah, is this the Krusty Krab? No, no, it's uh, Patrick. You got Patrick here. Being over on sucks. Hope to get it soon. Spruce sap. Yeah, I hope so. We are we are over odds here. Yeah, Litten community day tomorrow. That's gonna be good. I know my daughter's excited. I'm gonna take her out for a drive. Go to we'll go to the park. It's nice. Maybe we'll walk around and uh, catch ourselves a few shiny Litten. What color is shiny Litten? Uh, instead of uh, instead of black and with red stripes. It is white with orange stripes. So it's very, very, very noticeable. Uh, beautiful, a be be beautiful shiny. FZ Super, what's up, man? But yeah, lit, and that's a good one. It's gonna be lit. Unlike this Deoxys hunt, which is not. Have you played Elden Ring? Not yet. I did pre-order the game. I do have it downloaded on my PC. I've got it on Steam, but I've never uh, launched the game. I've not yet played it once. It's more of a mango color. Oh, okay, the color of uh, the color of the stripes. Or what's a, what's a mango color? Beautiful shiny PVP relevant for Ultra League. You think so? Oh, the uh, the Litten. Well, yeah, I, I'm guessing the. Uh, Incineroar. Um, bum, 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 bum. Darkest Larried and Blast Burn. That's gonna be uh, that's gonna be what uh, what to use. If I played Elden Ring live, the DLC's coming. Definitely a game you'd enjoy. Man, I would. Oh yeah, Trump is a, a mango color a little bit. Uh, I don't know if I would, how much I would enjoy it on stream. I, I, it seems like it would be so focus intensive. I would have to like basically ignore the entire chat just to pass like the first boss. Probably just to pass the introduction. Your internet's having issues, Neo. Ooh, resolution, low video to shiny sprite looks like a yellow jellyfish. <laughs> Yeah, I've I've had the same thing. I've uh, I've been had to watch people's live streams on a low resolution because of uh, just a poor connection to my my device. Thanks for 52 people hanging out. 41 likes yesterday. We got to almost the 200 likes. I would love to hit 200 likes again. Um, bum, 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 bum. 
Not enough to fix his cap locks. Yeah, he capitalizes just random words for no reason. Oh man, that is good water. Whoo! Sounds like he doesn't, yeah, as much as he claims. That's right. That liquid funds, anyway. He says he does, but his lawyers say that he don't, so somebody's lying. Hope I get lucky with another three star shiny like Chansey Community Day. Some high quality H2O. <laughs> hey, Gatorade's better. <laughs> what a stupid movie they man, the water boy. Oh man. Uh, you streamed on weekends to be happy. Today is Friday. That one, Eevee fan. Next Sunday, Sunday, March 24th, we are going to be streaming Sunday uh, for the memberathon. Yeah, if you're getting sued, you don't want people to know you have money. That's right. Did I grab another Mighty Azard? I didn't. I haven't. I haven't launched uh, Pokemon Violet in a while. Been focusing on the, the on the Deoxys hunt. Uh, also, been focusing a little bit on a Gen uh, Generation Two Pokemon Crystal Egg hunts. It is my goal to get um, get in Pokemon Home all of the shinies from Generation One and Two, all of them shiny in the uh, Virtual Console games. Obviously, with the exception of Mew, uh, because you cannot get it's impossible in the Virtual Console games to get a shiny Mew with your own original trainer name. Take that Friday off to rest up for the Sunday stream. I'm not. I'm not going to take the Friday off. I'll get Saturday to rest. I'll take uh, I'll take a nice long nap on Saturday. I'll sleep a long time, uh, you know, Saturday night into Sunday. And, uh, and I should be good to go. Uh, Sri Krishna, what's going on, yo? Virtual console games, old Pokemon games on a Switch. I'm talking on the 3DS. The 3DS virtual console games. So before Pokemon Bank closes, which we don't have an official date that it's closing. There's never, there has not been an official announcement that it's closing, but before it inevitably does, I'd love to get all the generation one and two Pokemon shiny. Uh, I'd like to shiny hunt the uh, legendaries in generation one since they don't appear in Crystal, uh, but I think it'd be fun. Celebi and Crystal, I do have Celebi and Crystal. Morning, Villy. Whoa, look at that Neo coming in. Hot with a one gifted membership. Sniped by Villy, look at that. Shinies appear in the overworld, not in Pogo. No, Muffin Man, you, gotta, you actually gotta tap on them. Member hype. You've seen that with your grandkids, really? 50 times the water boy funny movie but man what a strange one and thanks for 50 likes five zero holy moly can we get some hype for welcome angelina as member. well 10 gifted memberships welcome new channel member we got mighty munchkin storm run gaming f z super spruce sap uh, Emerin welcome got one zata plays silver striker got one spider 321 gift got gifted monster uh, monstera got one even Look at Welcome Aerie got gifted member. a membership. Welcome new channel member. Thank you so much uh, for those gifted memberships. Welcome and another member. five. Uh, well, you Welcome know what that means. Mr. Porygon got one. Uh, that one cookie guy. Uh, comic Welcome collector Mackledoo member. and Matt. Welcome get uh, gifted member. a membership. Again, if that is you, please say thank you to Angelina. Welcome channel member. Please say thank you to Angelina. It's Welcome time to, to swap member. out to the Chem Nation cool Welcome glasses. We member. might have to even make these glasses just a permanent uh, feature. Welcome new channel member. I got to do that lame snap every time I put them on. I got the I got the snap from uh, from Nightmare on Elm Street Part Two. When the when the when the main character, the protagonist, he's dancing around in his his bedroom to some music. He's cleaning up, dancing around, and he puts on his shades and 
snaps and I thought it was so cheesy. So I got to do it every time. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on here. Snow coming in about 2.5 hours? Now, I don't like snow, but that could mean a possibility of a snowy cast form. Shiny. You bought one of those to flip. Now, what are we what are we flipping now? Now, because I lost my train of thought. Could get your snowy. I know. I did get the I did get the sunny form last night. Shiny. Oh, Nightmare on Elm Street DVD. Okay, that's what I wondered. Shiny right here says Razzy. All right, let's make it happen. Why come we never got a sandstorm cast form? I know, man, because every, everybody in the world living in the sandstorms all the time. Yeah, but I, I have the regular shiny cast form. I've had one for a long time in Pokemon Go. Now I got the sunny form. I guess I need the other two. So 550,000 encounters cast form being reported. Roughly 1 in 128. So there we go. That number is uh, that number is pretty good. But hi, Razzy. We're still resetting today. Rip. Yeah, we're over odds. Over of the odds. Um, our Maru's here. How are you doing, man? It's been a little while. I'm hoping this thing wants to shine soon. I can't. I can't be going to seventy thousand on this. Exclamation point! Catch. That only works for channel members. Razzy, twenty-five months. Luck you. Thank you, Razzy. Thank you for lucking me. I really need that in 25 months, that beautiful red badge. I have overed the odds, that's right. We need a new like goal too, I realize. We need a new like goal because we hit 50 likes already. Will couldn't get to shiny yesterday, then first cloudy or regular form I see today was purple. Uh, Man, you didn't even catch it. Yeah, I've already got some of the purple ones from before. But, um, shoot, yeah, I got sunny last night while uh, out for a walk. I, I really, now I'm not seeing any snow coming anymore on the, on the forecast, but I think how, how, literally, how is anybody in the Northern Hemisphere going to get, uh, going to get the snowy form? Like, seriously, what, like, how's that even going to work? Channel member. Regular, uh, and a research is a scam to the other so far. I haven't seen a single snowy. So is it is basically just research that you got to do? Yeah, how come we didn't get an acid rain one either, man? We can go go like uh, spoof our location to uh, Chernobyl or something. Get the radioactive ones. Neo, thanks for 13 month, 13 month flex in the chat. That LGM is cute. LGM is kind of cute, yeah. Hope for fog. Okay, does fog uh, fog produce the the snowy form as well? Quarter odds, regular, rainy, sunny, snowy. Okay, so I've got regular and sunny. I guess I need rainy and snowy. Two regular cast forms way back in April Fools. Yeah, I think I've got a couple to couple of them, a couple of the regular ones. And I got, uh, I did find the sunny, shiny, and uh, it ended up being a three star actually in the wild, which is cool. Crazy rain and lightning this morning and last night. I would actually welcome a little bit of rain. I think it would help the snow melt. Fire tornado form. Yeah, that's not even, or even a shark uh, nado form. Look at Airy Flex in 14 months. Hamburger. That's right. Hamburgers. Hamburgers, as uh, somebody uh, once uh, tweeted about. 1,800 Fue Cocoa eggs and no shiny yet. Yikes, Fullet. Triple odds already. I hope you get it soon. Hope you get it soon. Matthew found a 14, 15, 15 rainy uh, cast form in the wild. Shiny rainy or just regular? Not a hamburger, it's a scam burger. That one is a scam witch. Tossed it only. Oh, room for the hundo. 60 to 30 to 60 to 40 here, and it's annoying. 
Yeah, our temperatures are, are warm this week. We're above freezing. And then next week, I don't think it's supposed to get above freezing at all next week. So the weather here is really strange too. Now, Cam, I sent you what happened to me this morning and how I had to be creative. You, oh, you, you, you uh, Discord messaged me. Let's see if I can take a quick peek, see here. Oh my goodness. That is a lot of stuff. And I see because of the rain. Oh, yeah, okay. Um, did you have to buy that uh, tarp or did you do you have it cuz yeah, that's definitely what you don't want to wreck that stuff It's a burger ham. That's right Griff what's up? I found a shiny Feebas and shield congrats on a Feebas man. That's a great shiny Well at least now you have that right that's something you can fold up uh, You can fold it up and you can uh, stick it in with the spare tire, you know, underneath uh, underneath the mat in the trunk. Discord message, uh, where? Where did you post it? I don't know if I've seen it. All right. What did you miss, Pepper Late Slip? You missed five shiny Deoxys, but I had to keep resetting over them because you weren't here. Then tented the tarp over the tailgate. Uh, oh, to the trunk. Yeah, smart. I guess smart. Yeah, so you can load them in. Never hurts to have an emergency tarp, true. Uh, it sent a direct message. When was that? I don't see any message from you. One time I said uh, Berber Kim in reference to Burger King and you got mad at me. Thought I was talking about you. You probably were. Probably were. I like I like a good King Burger once in a while. Oh yeah, you weren't okay. I think uh, the direct quote was, "Hey, do you like a good Burger King?" Are a, 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 a good burger, comma, Kim, question mark? I think that's what you said. Not everything's about you. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. I got that, uh, the main character syndrome. 12 hours ago, I'm pretty sure. Oh, you know what? Sometimes uh, they filter the messages. Oh, see? Yeah, see? It's, uh, it didn't, it, okay. I didn't see what it, uh, what it was. Oh, then we got a nice uh, picture from Razzie of the, the, grout, the whole Groudon fiasco. Mmm, Berber Kim, and you said, what? Get out of here. <laughs> okay. I see the word Kim in the chat. It's, I just kind of, I, 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 I lose my head. It's my world, you just live in it. That's right. We're all the main character of our own story. He has a great face. Yes, he does. <laughs> he uh, he really botched that, screwed it up big time. Uh, Muffin Man, come on now. King Dexter, after this, I might just uh, fire up uh, the old 3DS Pokemon Crystal and continue on with the Magikarp Hunt. It's a 1 in 128 chance. But um, I'm wanting to do some more uh, Generation 1 and 2 hunts. Get those shiny Pokemon with a little Game Boy symbol next to them in Pokemon Home. Gonna have lunch right now. Gonna be watching in the background. Okay, enjoy your lunch. Which Magikarp? Uh, the one that uh, is the pre-evolution of Gyarados. I'm back finally after <laughs> two streams. I missed Let's Go. Uh, after two streams I missed. Oh, let's go. I'm back. Hey, welcome back. AA is back in a jet. Magic carp, yeah. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm breeding uh, my male shiny Gyarados. 
that you catch in the game with a non-shiny female Gyarados. So it's a 1 in 128 chance that a Magikarp patch will be uh, shiny. It's a 1 in 2 chance that it'll be female, and then the female is a 1 in 64 chance of being shiny. So yep, it's uh, it's pretty cool. I was I could have I could breed with the Ditto, but the a but because Magikarp eggs hatch so fast, I would be I would literally be hatching an egg and just be waiting and waiting and waiting for the next egg to generate. Now the odds with the with the two Gyarados, the odds are are twice as worse. I guess it's one in 128 instead of one in 64, but the speed in which I'm hatching the eggs is three times faster. So. Um, it ends up being a little bit faster this way. One and two and one in sixty-four. Well, that's that's it, right? It's it's a one in two chance of being female. Uh, otherwise, it's it'll be male, in which it can't be shiny. And then uh, if it's a female, it's got a one in sixty-four chance of being shiny. How much are we over odds? Uh, a few hundred encounters. Eighty-one ninety-two is the uh, are the odds. One in eight thousand one ninety-two. Yep, that's right. 8467 uh, attempts. I'm still going. Thanks for 63 likes. You got couches for the living room. Oh, that's nice. What were you sitting on before? We uh we got our first we bought our own first set of couches when we moved into this house a little under five years ago before then we had uh we used couches that our in-laws gave us my wife's parents they got new couches and gave us their old ones so i'm like hey we'll take them nothing just didn't uh, spend time in the empty living room gotcha that's right 99.99 percent uh, chance of getting deoxys to shine by eighty thousand eighty five. Um, I'll be misremembering, but didn't you stream while sitting on a couch? I sure did. When I first uh, first moved into this house, uh, we still had the old couch. That was our main couch in the old house. That uh, if that made any sense at all, our old couch was in the basement, and that's what I sat on to stream from. And there, there had the mystery door in the background. That door is still to that, this day, that door is locked. And every now and then you can hear scratching noises come coming from behind it. I still don't know what's in there. I don't trust stairs. They're always up to something. Yeah, what's up with that? I could get down with some stairs, though. That's for sure. That's the awesome gift, though. You'll let me out of there one day. <laughs> yeah, that door, that's just, like, underneath the staircase. It's the cold room. We, we just have a bunch of stuff in there for storage. How did you start YouTube and manage to get an audience? Well, I just literally just started going live one day. And uh, eventually going live, uh, a couple people found me and then a couple more people and a couple more people and I kept posting more content and more people found me and I didn't really advertise anywhere, it just kind of got lucky a bit. Probably Sacks left behind that door, hope when he scratches you feed him some well seasoned chicken. How was the chicken experiment last night? It's pretty good. It's a pretty pretty good chicken. I mean, it's not not quite uh, not quite as uh, delicious as a salt and pepper, but but uh, yeah, it's all right. More content equals good. Yeah, I, I would think so. <laughs> you baked some squash last night. I've never baked a squash. Never done that. Yeah, whoever gifted you, that would have been Angelina. 
Would have been Angelina Martinez. Bum, bum, bum. How do you prepare squash? I don't. The seed is planted and the tree is growing. You once squished a squash. Uh, okay. One time, one time, my neighbors complained about the weeds in my yard, and that uh, and that some of the weeds were they didn't like the weeds and they were like sticking through the fence, and I should get rid of the weeds. And then and then they had what appeared to be some kind of a squash that they were growing that like ended up going through the fence into my yard, and I wanted to squash it, but I didn't. <laughs> Uh, I'll cut up the squash, oil it, put some seasoning on it, and grill it. Yeah, I don't, I've, I've never purchased a squash in my life. 70 my, uh, nine more checks before another palindrome. Yeah, before we get to 80, uh, 85, uh, 58. Mm-hmm. Weeds, plural. Never had fried squash, then I assume. I might, I might have eaten it. Like I may, may some might have had it prepared for me, but uh, I've never like uh, bought one myself and cooked it. One time I bought, uh, I bought a, a gourd. And I uh, dry, I hollowed it out and dried it. I was gonna drink from it, but then it leaked, and I didn't like that. Yeah, I, got, I saw them a ride in motorcycle. That uh, I saw the pictures of it and all that. It was pretty cool. Missing out? Yeah, you like squash? Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, let's not count down, please. What inspired you to do that to a gourd? Uh, it's it's common in, um, I guess, if uh, people in South America to drink from it, the uh, yerba mate. So I wanted to, to, to try to make my own, and it didn't really work out that well. Yeah, please don't just, like, uh, post message after message, just counting down. Thanks for the 70 likes. 30 likes away from 100 already. Now, we almost hit 200 likes on yesterday's live stream. I would love to hit 200 likes today. There's a good chance I won't be able to go overtime today just because the kids are home with me. Uh, but we'll we'll see how it goes. We'll see how they're, how they're behaving. Thinking squash banana, oh banana, what? No, yeah, you're thinking that. I'm not. Uh, next uh, episode of, uh, oh yeah, well we don't self-promote on the, on the channel, please. Oh yes, that's right. Sunday sauna, squash banana, wee dee dee. Yes, that's right, I know that now. Hope we get the shiny soon. Me too. Me too. Now, if I get the shiny, full disclosure, it's probably going to take me a couple hours. It could take me a couple hours just to catch it. Uh, what am I playing? Emulator, Game Boy Advance, DS, uh, Game Boy Operator. So a little, little uh, cool piece of hardware you plug into your PC, and then you just insert your Game Boy cartridge into it, and then you just hit play on the software. And it plays whatever whatever your save file is on the cartridge. That's what you're playing. And when you save, it saves on the cartridge and everything. It's pretty cool. Couple of hours, yeah, because I want to catch it in a Pokeball. Standard Pokeball. 0.8% uh, chance of catching it per Pokeball. Now, I do have 999 Pokeballs. So we're looking at, you know, like a, it's, it'd be a one in 2,000 chance that uh, that it breaks out of all of those. 
and you know what if it does then uh, then i'm then i failed it basically uh, if i had some game boy advance games i'd love an operator they seem neat there's a guy watching tiktoks doing a full shiny run with operator and it seems brutal yeah the operator's cool it does have some like uh, features in it uh, cool features and all that, but I run it as in just like straight. This is like the straight gameplay Fleece King. Oh, he got his account back. Nice. Did he get the did he get the stuff that he lost? Did he get the, did he get the Pokemon that got deleted and all that? Yeah, Game Boy Operator is pretty cool Z they have multiplayer uh, they might y'all Well, are they your stickers from your craft, or are they her stickers from her craft? Both of us craft. All right. Well, you know what? Just tell her that I say she has. You have to have a couple more. Three more. Okay. Uh, it's fifty dollars, Razzy. Well, you tell her I said yes. How are the kiddos doing? Well, I'm already already uh, trying to s settle a dispute. JJ had a dream the government started governing projects of houses to be built underwater and an underwater mansion was very affordable and you bought one. <laughs> yeah, that'd be pretty funny though. I'd advise sitting back and join the stream, stop to unmods mods. Yes, exactly. I might have to go back up, uh, up upstairs and, and try to solve this issue here. It's uh, it's been uh, 42 minutes into the live stream and I'm already gonna solve some problems. Okay, I'll be up there in a second, okay? To figure this out. All right, let me hit the button. Let me hit the button and we will see if uh, this is shiny. You guys will know before I do. Here we go. Not shiny. What is that? Uh, the Game Boy Operator is great for saving Pokemon files. You can swap out old batteries. That's good too. Yep. Oh, we got his Shundo Marit back. Okay, got some of his stuff back at least. Thanks for the 76 likes. 78 people hanging out here. I know. Would have been over without that Marit though. What a horrible thing to lose. 
So apparently there's a bunch of stickers. My uh, younger daughter took more than half of the stickers. More than half. And, and now she's crying that it's unfair because she can't have even more of them. Um, Sax, what's going on, buddy? How's it going, Sax? It's, yeah, it's quote unquote settled. Police Kings, a shiny Pikachu Libre, one of the rarest Mons. I hope you can get that one back. If you didn't get the fair share of stickers. Yeah, apparently half uh, half of the stickers plus an extra six uh, wasn't, wasn't enough. Good, uh, Sax. I'm, I'm very good. I'm good. Thank you for 80 likes. Almost at 100 likes. This thing is uh, needs a time to shine. Almost at uh, 8,500 here. Almost at 8,500. Mm -hmm. I'd be I'd be disappointed about the Pikachu Libre shiny. Is that that's like one of the rarest shinies in the game? I think. You'd release any Community Day mon without second thought. I've I've released a lot of Community Day shinies. Uh, 315C, it's uh, going well. Man, 1325 uh, for Jirachi. 16.64% cumulative odds, Jerry. 1325, that's a long time, too. That's a long time. The Muffin Man lives on Drury Lane, that's right. I can hear them arguing about uh, stickers and stuff. Up there. Six shinies of a single mon, that's your limit. Then they get trashed or I trade them away, yeah. Not even an hour live stream, but they're fighting already. This is what siblings do. 515 on the deadlift. Your grip slipped at the top, but uh, but you locked it out. Very nice, man. 515. See? See, you passed that 500, and now, you, now you're cruising along there. Uh, Go Niantic's Golden Boy. Well, I mean, if somebody, uh, if somebody hacked his account, it did so because Niantic gave the person permission. I would hope, at the very least, Niantic would would get his uh, stuff back. Need some shiny gift Pokemon, Maraid and Karaid, independent on a version. I think we will get them at some point. When I don't know, but we will. Shiny legendaries, I'll uh, mirror those for lucky trades. Yeah, who gets the most stickers? Oh, you saw, yeah, you're not at liberty to discuss it. The, the, the Muffin Man moved to, okay. Haven't deadlifted in forever. Tore a callus on my back. Ow! Hope it heals quick, yikes. I'm, uh, no, you're not gonna get uh, skewered hefty. I never heard of him either. Why do you want Deoxys in a Pokeball? Because I like to get all of my shiny Pokemon in a standard Pokeball. Yeah, Niantic says sorry, giving you a couple remote uh, raid passes. You'd be like, here you go. Here's a couple uh, regular raid passes. Now take you to your side uh, somewhere else. Uh, Pokemon Horizons, the series, has a new Pikachu, like the, uh, the Captain's Hat Pikachu. Lurking while playing Minecraft? Okay. Mmm. I'm just looking at a, at a little plate over there with some, uh, some <laughs> Cajun chicken breast over there. Happens to play Pogo Stream a lot. If you don't play Pogo or follow Pogo News, yeah, yeah, exactly.
Mm. <laughs> uh, I didn't get the shiny. I didn't get the shiny uh, captain at Pikachu, no. The what is that, Carson? What am I what am I be wearing of? I'm waiting for J dub too, yeah, me too. Ugh, what it what it what are, what are you doing there? What is that? What deal do you what a deal? Do you want one too? Oh yeah, the, the oh the Austin Powers game, yeah. Chipotle's one year attention for lunch. I haven't had Chipotle. I don't know. I don't know if I've ever had it. Uh, I've not. I've not seen uh, Katakuri. I've not seen the shiny yet. No, I don't want one a year, Deoxys. I want to catch it myself. I want it in a standard Pokeball for one, and two. I got to be the original trainer. Spinning 3D model of a banana in the top right. What if we had that just for no no reason, just randomly? Yeah, that would be weird. Wasn't bad, Chipotle, okay. Ricky's gonna make croissants for breakfast. I do like croissants. I like those Pillsbury, Pillsbury croissants. You cut them open and you'd like melt a, a, a clump of butter into it. Oh, so good. Oh, it's a, it's a Chipotle, okay. Chip off the old block lay, gotcha. Chipotle. I didn't say Lee Chipotle, did I? Maybe I did. New phone shaker and it's fantastic. Five kilometer egg in like 35 minutes. Not bad. It's not bad at all. You gonna say bingo bango when the Deoxa shines? Depends if I remember to, to say it or not. I might forget. I might be too excited. Nothing there yet. Nothing there. Bum, 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 bum. Haldean Fates. Ooh, ETB's on sale for 40 bucks at Walmart. You gonna pick some up there, Big Cheese? Seftian, hey, how's it going? How you doing? Thank you for 84 likes. We're only 16 away from 100 already. Uh, I don't know, Ogre Pond Day. No, oh, you're not picking them up, okay. Gotcha. You've never had a taco, really. That's right, your life has not actually started yet. You're uh, you're still living in the, uh, the, the, the BT time, before taco. You've had plenty of tacos, you're not the biggest fan. Okay. Have you had a real taco? Like a real, like authentic uh, one? I actually don't uh, don't uh, write me any ugly letters, but I kind of prefer the like Americanized version of tacos, a little better. Two Pokemon, uh, yeah. Let's see. Either a oh, Pokemon Center ETB sealed in the shipping carton they sent to me. Okay, nice. Yeah, the the Pokemon Center ones are are good. Hey, Skrillbo, what's up? Blue Ruin, good movie. The American, uh, Americanized ones too. Yeah, the crunchy shell with the uh, all that. Jada, what's going on? Check the uh, check the DMs, man. I sent you a picture of the perfectly seasoned uh, chicken breasts. It's pretty great. I watched this movie called Fresh last night. Uh, quite quite the movie. Uh, biggest fan of tacos out of everyone in the world. Presumptuous to say, yes. Respect your humility. Uh, yeah, it is. Let me check this out. All right, J-Dub. You're gonna just fall to the floor 
after you slip on your own drool when you see the picture I sent you. Yes. You play in the backyard. Well, you know, you know, you don't go in the front yard if I'm not there. Probably not, but you don't go in the front. You don't play in the front unless I'm out there with you. Because I said so, you play in the back. Where there's a fence. Oh well, then you do you stay you stay inside. Um uh, 2020 version of Invisible Man. Yes, I like the, the technological aspect of that movie. It was good. The answer is no. No front yard. Okay. There you go. You know he sneezed. Yeah, it was a good, good, good uh, movie for sure. Uh, Pokemon and parenting. That's why I'm here. That's right. Yeah, fresh though. I hadn't heard of that movie, but I watched it. It was on Disney Plus. And uh, holy moly, what a weird uh, movie. I guess satirical horror movie I would classify it as. Mad Dad Skills. You gotta make the tough decision. Tried to watch the Invisible Man, but I couldn't tell where he was. Yeah, I know it's, it's, jeez. On Disney Plus, yes. Disney Plus, thanks for 87 likes. We're only 13 away from 100 already. Where'd that J-Dub? I wanna see his, uh... I think J-Dub uh, saw the picture of the chicken breast. And did exactly what I said. He drooled so much he slipped on his own drool. He probably knocked himself out. All right, I'll be, I'll be back. I'll be back. Hang on here. again no shiny didn't have the power to make it shine yes all right all right storm run gaming yeah it must have been angelina martinez who gifted that poor cam i know i can't go like five minutes without the kids fighting how come every other family in the world the brothers and sisters they never fight Right? Kids never fight. I'm the only parent in the world that has to deal with this issue, I bet. Um, never ever, that's right. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> Woe is Cam, that's right. Yeah, never see? 29 years old, you don't even fight either. 
opposite closet with a tablet, some snacks. Yeah, I could, I could do that, but I'm not gonna. Never got in a fight with your four siblings? Exactly, see? Especially not kids. Billy, Ari. Yeah, that's right. The only parent yours holds hands. They skip with butterfly and rainbows. Never argue, never fight. You broke your brother's knee, but that was an accident, Will. You guys were playing so, so fun together that you accidentally tripped him. Confirmed that, uh, that uh, every brother and sister will indeed brawl it out. No, no, that's, that's in fantasy movies, not in real life. Eighty-five twenty-eight, crazy, crazy here, and we're sitting almost at a hundred likes already. Discord took forever to load. Nonetheless, proud of you. We're headed in the right direction. Look at all of you guys. I sent you all the fake picture of the seasoned chicken, and you all like pat me on the back as in, in as if I did a great job. That uh, that's that's the fake picture. That's like the pre-seasoned uh, picture, uh, J-Dub. I'll, I'll send you the real photo. Um, bum, 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 bum. Much older than my siblings. That wasn't really a fight. You just bullied him. <laughs> We've been bamboozled. That's right. I, uh, they, the uh, Sax and, uh, J Dub and others in the chat been trying to get me to, to season my chicken. Cam, you need to season the chicken. You need to just cover it with seasonings. So I, I sent them all a picture of a very lightly seasoned chicken breast, and they're all like, uh, they're trying to, oh, good job, Cam. Yep. Yeah, we're proud of you. Yep. Big cheese. He didn't even want to see. Sax, to be fair, Sax did say it was a little light. Uh, there we go, nothing there. You, you okay, it was not my first time preparing chicken like that. It was not the first time. I've, I've seasoned chicken breasts before. You got, they just give me a hard time because I had seasoned some chicken breast just with a bit of salt and pepper to use for lunch meat. This is this is the, the photo I sent to them. Actually, that looks not terribly under seasoned. It's kind of blurry though. There you go. That was the first picture, but then this was like the actual uh, finished chicken. A lot more seasoning on it, all right? So don't don't bother me ever again. You add uh, bits of chicken to clumps of my seasoning. There you go. <laughs> I've got some. I've got some here down here. I've been munching on it. Anticlimatic uh, Austin Matthews receiving the royal treatment by the equipment staff. Guy wiped off his visor like he was royal, and people uh, memed it saying he get paid so much. Um, but don't other players have uh, have that? Hands dirty and rubbed that in. I did. I, I rubbed it in. Yep. Yeah. So good that he's munching on a during stream. <laughs> Uh, it's okay. It's good. I mean, it's not salt and pepper good, but it's still pretty good. So fast, like a servant. I mean, that's that's these guys. Uh, I mean, these guys get paid to do that, right? Chicken and deoxys. That's right. Here's a. Here's a nice, uh, nice piece there. Oh man! Oh man! That is dry. Woo. 
Cold chicken, that's right. <laughs> I'm just bitten to heaven. It's okay. That's cold chicken from last night, yep. Yeah. I cooked up uh, two two chicken breasts. I ate about half of one. I wanted to save some. Kem Carson. Kem is funny. Okay. <laughs> uh, protein for the stream. <laughs> oh man, it's so funny because you guys think I've never seasoned my food before. The recipe I use is pretty much, uh, pretty much, almost identical to what I put on my pork chops. So, oh man, said yesterday. Do you think the Leafs know they have a young future Hall of Famer? Yeah, I, I think they probably know. Uh, the mo most ethnic uh, chem stream ever. Yeah, shake and bake. See, nothing wrong with shake and bake. White meat, uh, chicken, and pork are very similar to you, you find, yeah? Surprised how some people season their chicken, yeah. Like, like they, uh, like how much they do or like how little they do. I see some people wash their chicken with dish soap. <laughs> mm. You marinate the chicken, yeah. Yeah, don't ever do that. That's right. Still boils or chicken and lightly lightly seasoned with salt and pepper. Looks gross. Maybe something from Subway. It said. If I'm gonna like make chicken to like actually serve like chicken breast, I'll I'll season it. If I'm just gonna cut it up for lunch meat, then I don't need to add a ton of stuff. Uh, you touch my chicken with soap, I'll slap you. That's right. Babysit some old ladies. They use uh, only sprinkled their chicken with some paprika, no salt. Yeah, I gotta get some salt in there too. Oh, how how they little they season nuke it in the oven? Yeah. I got uh, I got one of those uh, thermometers with the long like metal uh, uh, cable or whatever. So I just stick the thermometer in the chicken. I throw it in the oven. I don't even set a timer. I just uh, wait until it uh, beeps at 165, and then I take it out and let it rest a bit. Yeah, the probe thermometer exactly. Loud here, 12 a.m. Lucky. Oh, big storm, Brandon. Lose the salt and pepper, hit it with a sprinkle of Mrs. Dash. Mrs. Dash have salt and pepper in it? I thought it was like uh, salt free. You don't put the, the top rack of dishwasher before cooking? I know some people cook fish in the dishwasher. You can uh, wrap it up in. Wrap it up in uh, in foil and you put it on like the steam cycle. Uh, I prefer white meat usually over dark meat. But hefty, yeah, that's what people do. They, you gotta cook it on there. On the top rack. Cook dishes in the oven. Yeah, burn off all the all the excess food. Um, 94 likes already. Very close. Very close to 100 likes. You tornadoes here. Yikes. I mean, I'm just, I'm just, you guys have your crazy, uh, crazy weather me. I'm just sitting here basking in this beautiful, you know, 32 degree Fahrenheit weather. How you make hospital food, Mrs. Dash? I didn't uh, I didn't buy Cajun seasoning by the way. I, I just used uh I use actual spices. I didn't buy the pre-made stuff. Like both dark meat, juicier and, and more flavorful. I I get that. Hailed a lot as well. Ugh. 
I hate hail just because more I'm scared of my car getting uh, the paint getting chipped and all that. Um, bum, 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 but yeah, nothing you know got hit. Okay. Glad to hear. We got uh, 85 people hanging out here. Only four likes away from 100. Weather dude on YouTube and they were showing your neck of the woods. Ooh. I said, uh, here in Manitoba, Canada, we get some pretty cold winters, but outside of that, like, we don't really get crazy winds, we don't get hurricanes, we don't get tornadoes here. We just get, uh, we just get some cold days in a winter, and that's pretty much it. Just missed my in-laws. Ooh, tornadoes, okay, in the city south. And did they cause a lot of damage? Baseball hail, that's nuts. Bake the food with butter till golden brown. Tail into some hurricanes, nothing bad in a long time, okay. You can deal with the cold, and, and we do. We do, right? It's, uh, you just dress up in layers. It's a pain in the butt. Do you want to go outside? Well, you gotta start the car, pre-warm it up. Uh, then you got to put on your long johns and your pants and your socks and boots and, and your shirt and sweater and jacket and toque and your hats and your mitts and your scarf and all that. And uh, you look like that kid from, uh, you look like the one, the, the one little brother there from the Christmas story. But at least you're warm. Not good with dealing cold, used to deal with, used to dealing with 90 plus degree weather. See, I don't like those hot, hot weather. To me, anything in like the mid to high 80s, it starts to get a little uncomfortable. Extremely rare in Florida where you were to, uh, to have hurricanes. Oh, because of the mountains. Get emergency alarms to stay indoor. Hail could send you. Yeah, I guess if it's that big, that's crazy. Like that's going to cause a lot of damage too. Don't sweat that much. Okay. Now I'm thinking of that weather map where the hurricane was going to make its way into Al into into um, Alabama. But then it wasn't going to make it into Alabama, but then Trump showed the map with the clearly you could see the black line extending into uh, Alabama. <laughs> yeah, the burial mounds. <laughs> I gotta gotta read uh, I gotta read uh, Big Cheese's messages wrong every time. Houses, roofs, siding, breaking windows—that's crazy. Yeah, that's that's nuts. Make an announcement that the man was out of his mind. <laughs> like, don't worry if you live in uh, Alabama. There's no risk of the hurricane hitting you. Yes, there is. Trust me. Look at this map. A grandmother never called that uh, movie a Christmas story. Maybe she'd say, put on Ralphie. <laughs> That's what she'd say. Put on the Ralphie. Not put on a Christmas story. Put on Ralphie. I love that. My grandma used to call them programs. I'm going to watch my programs. It's storm today, chem use seasoning. The world is ending. Hey, you brought it on yourself, Sax. This was your doing. Look at this official map with a sharpie on it. <laughs> man, that is just so, it's such a, ugh, oh man, I don't know. Gotta, gotta always be right about everything. Hey Chrissy, how are you doing? My grandma's programs the Hall Hallmark Channel. Programs, yeah. <laughs> That's uh, true, uh, Cheeto, yep. Third eye open, that's right. <laughs> you can even see like the red line right here where it closed up last night. <laughs> oh man, you guys, you guys tease. This is almost identical to, to my pork, what I use on my pork chops. 
Yeah, now if it's soap proper, those are stories. That's right. I'm gonna watch my stories. <laughs> well, sitting on the Chesterfield. That's what uh, that's what in Canada, what some of the old people call it. And they don't say a couch; they say a Chesterfield. GPUs at 60 degrees Celsius only running uh, YouTube. Yikes. Open up your, like, activity monitor or something. Your mom would watch so much Lifetime, really? Open Elden Ring. No, I can't do that. Canadians, eh? Days of our lives. With Dr. Uh, Drake Ramore. 99 likes we're only one like away from 100 there it is 100 likes 100 likes thank you everybody chester drawers instead of a chest of drawers i gotta get those chester drawers this has been going on for a long time what this hunt Finish rewatching Friends uh, down to the second last season is a good show. One hour on a member day? No, I can't. I can't. Uh, oh, the stories. Yeah. Yeah. How long are those? Uh, some of those soap operas have been around forever. Uh, I can't be opening up Elden Ring. No. Doubles advocate here. For all intensive purposes, I think you are wrong. In an age where false morals are a diamond dozen, true virtues are a blessing in disguise. <laughs> I love that, Brian. I love that. What's gone, JG? Took a shower and you're gone. Your doors, all the doors in your apartment are gone now. The Deoxys over odds, it is, Fishy. It is over odds. There are people in this world who think Friends isn't funny. I know, it is hard to believe. The doggy dog world, that's right. I don't take that for granted. You have black something on your skin. Okay, I don't know what you were saying there. Black heads on your skin. Oh, that's disgusting. I don't want to know that. Bum, ba, da, bum, bum. I used to not like Friends until I watched it. That was like my wife with The Office. She never thought she was gonna like it, and then we wa and then we watched it, and then she really liked it. Uh, Friends is the best show. Friends was good, yeah. Friends was a, it was a great show. People say intensive purposes as a mispronunciation, but uh, today's the first time I've seen it. Um. What did it, what was it? Marjorie Taylor Greene called it a peach tree dish. You're growing meat in, in, in peach tree dishes. That was another one. Used to hate Seinfeld was younger. Now love it. Yeah, it's, it's a really good show. That's crazy. They did nine seasons of that show, and they offered, uh, I think they want to do like 20 episodes, 22 episodes for a 10th season. They offered Jerry Seinfeld $5 million per episode to do 22 more episodes, $100 million to do season 10. And he's like, nah, I, I don't want to. Yeah, all of the people saying it on purpose. Yeah, indicted. Indicted. I like that. Showers in the morning, that's good. 
I could care less. Yeah, that one, that's what people say that uh, all the time. I could care less. It means that that means you do care at least a little bit. It means there is the possibility of caring less than you do about this. Uh, 14.70 or 28 gigs of RAM. YouTube is using that much? Wow. She caught it too, but a little too late. I like when jo when she said uh, Joe Biden had the gazpacho police. <laughs> gazpacho police. Gazpacho. Literally cold tomato soup police. I had an hour-long convo about couldn't care less with a co-worker. What season is this episode of the Chem Nation show? Uh, this is season uh, four. Yeah, gazpacho is a, is a kind of soup. Jerry did with Larry King when Larry asked if ending the show was his idea. We were the highest rated uh, show and you think we got cancelled? Yeah, that's right. That's true. I think yeah, I was watching an interview and they said, well, look at the ratings. They're going up and up and up. Like, don't you want to see how high the ratings would go? I think Jerry said, like, the only way I'll know how high the ratings go is if they start dropping. And he wanted to go out on a high note, and they did. Mayonnaise. I say mayonnaise. To get Kem to say the most off-the-wall stuff before the shiny gets. So, yeah, it's in the clip in the edit. Season 1 to 3 on DVD this year. Nah, that'd be like a... You know how many how many discs that'd be? 100 disc set of Chem Nation. The Merrick Stain? It never comes out no matter what you do? I've never heard of it, no. Never remember last time I say any other way than mayo. Yeah, I just... I usually just say mayo. Peanut butter and mayo sandwiches. Does anyone put mayo under hot dog? No deoxys. Peanut butter and mayo sandwich, yeah. On toasted bread. I, I don't put mayonnaise on my hot dog, no. I put, uh, I put, uh, relish in mustard and onions on my hot dogs. That's, those are my go-to toppings. Miracle Whip on your chicken burger, that's okay. Mayo Chup, yeah, we're one of the worst condiment names ever. Ketchup or chili and cheese, yeah, those are good. You prefer brats? Bacon wrapped sheet hot uh, oh street hot dog with mayo, ketchup, grilled onions be the best thing you had. I also like uh, I like a hot dog with ketchup, caramelized onions, and chopped up pierogies on it. That's really good too. See, look at that fish. He tried the PB and mayo sandwich yesterday. It was actually not that bad. See what I'm telling you? Look, I'm not an idiot. I know that peanut butter and mayonnaise sounds disgusting. But you'd be surprised how delicious it is, especially you dunk it in some clam chowder soup. Oh, man. Yeah, caramelized onions are good. You gotta, you gotta put, uh, you gotta cook them in a lot of butter. And real slow, too. Real slow. Otherwise, they just burn. And then they're not good. Pretending to be those uh, TikTok NPCs. What? I don't watch that TikTok glizzy videos. Frozen banana with peanut butter and chocolate by Reese. Not bad. I heard they had those at Costco. M paid Fishy to say that. Yeah, but the, but the records are uh, deleted. Caramelized onions. Yeah, they're good. When, uh, when I do caramelized onions, they probably take, you know, 20 minutes. 20 minutes in the pan, at least. I remember that time Kem made me cook patty melts. 
<laughs> I remember I, I was watching. Uh... <laughs> I, I was craving a Philly cheesesteak one time, so I was watching like uh, one of those recipe videos how to make the Philly cheesesteak and uh, I wasn't gonna make it that night. I didn't have the ingredients and I had to watch. I had my earbuds on and uh, they were describing the process and then she was like, okay, now put the cheesy beef into the bun and then I was like, oh, cheesy beef into the bun. <laughs> and that's like I had because I had my earphones in and my wife hears from like across the room and she started laughing she thought it was the weirdest thing just randomly mm, cheesy beef into the bun <laughs> oh yes okay your D key is sticking that's no good provolone or the cheese sauce for the Philly um, provolone for sure that's what I would use. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, phrase the abbreviation uh, United Kingdom in the form of a question. Sounds like you're asking. Yeah, UK? UK? 105 likes, everybody. I do appreciate it. Look at that. 85, 85, we're at. We're at 85.85 here. You don't like cheese whiz fillies? Yeah. I do like uh, cheese whiz like sometimes on a hot dog or whatever, but... Uh, or on like cottage cheeseburgers, but uh, not on... Not on a Philly cheesesteak. Yeah, not, not good as 8,008. Philly's best in Canada. I've never heard of that. Also tried uh, PB and onion yesterday. Not a, ca a combo for your taste. Okay. I was eating one of those PB and onion sandwiches in uh, art class once in high school. And then I guess it was like you could smell the onions. And somebody's like, is somebody eating onions? I'm allergic. And then they had to like leave the room. <laughs> and then I felt bad. Uh, chili and cheese for sure. But I don't like it in uh, Phillies. Okay. What's cheese whiz? Well, in Canada at least, it's uh, it's like a processed cheese spread. Comes in a jar and you stick the knife in it and you just scoop out the cheese spread. Allergic to the smell. Well, what what is smell but particles of onion? So if you're inhaling, if you can smell onion, that's onion particles going up your nose. Um, Cheese Whiz is here in America too. Okay. Would love a California burrito one day. What is a California burrito? Cheese Whiz is cheese in a can. So where you're from, it's in a can. Here, it's in it's in a jar. It's not like a aer aer aerosol uh, spray cheese or whatever. Great value spray cheese. Cheese, wow, what's next? Milk? Yes. What? Yeah, we... I'm sure we can get the canned cheese that you like. It looks it looks like it comes in like a whipped cream can. But, uh... I, I've never had that. Aerosolized cheese. Ever went to the States to try a crispy pork belly and some hot Cheetos? Mmm, okay. Against the Canadian food code to sell cheese in a can, are you sure? I see in the US the FDA is banning uh, the, the, uh, the bromonized uh, vegetable oil. California fries. What What makes a burrito a California burrito? Ridges on Ritz crackers are there so you can cut cheese. Come on, you can't cut cheese with a cracker. Mixing dairy with aerosol. Well, in that case, JJ, how do you explain cans of whipped cream, which is literally cream that is aerosolized?
Cut the cheese, that's right. Oh, cutting American cheese, a little cheese slices. I feel like you can just rip that with your hands. You wouldn't need a cracker to do that. I think that's like one of the things that they invented after the fact or that somebody said. Thinly sliced cheese, yeah, processed cheese slices, American cheese. Yeah, you should look into that, JJ, and come back, uh, come back with the with the info. Pretty sure Canada doesn't have a law about uh, aerosolized dairy products. Otherwise, we wouldn't be able to have whipped cream. You buy shredded cheese or do you grate it yourself? I grate it myself. Canada's dairy products, yes. Canadian dairy cows. Pop tarts. Are there biscuits with frosting? Yeah, they're, they're, well, they're not biscuits. They're pastries, I guess, with like a, a, a fruit filling. And then it's got frosting on it, yeah. They're not, I mean, Pop-Tarts are good, but they're not uh, anything to go crazy over. I prefer the toaster strudels. No, don't even, don't even start with that nonsense, Eric. Don't y'all get mo uh, milk from moose? We, well, yeah, but uh, moose milk is too, too expensive. Most people don't, uh, they just drink the cow's milk. Cali fries, if you took everything that comes under nachos and put it in fries. Okay, gotcha. But like nacho fries, I think we'd just call them. Protein, cheese, salsa pico, guac, sour cream, onions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I know what that is. So much better. Toaster strudels, yeah. I usually got to let my toaster strudels... Uh, warm up a little bit outside of the freezer because it, then when they come out of the toaster they're like burnt on the outside but they're still cold on the inside how many jars of uh, goose grease do you have on hand right now actually I'm, I'm all a lot of goose grease is moose meat eaten yeah people eat moose meat in canada i mean you can't you can't buy it in the grocery stores i don't think uh, grocery stores are allowed to sell uh, wild uh, meat, but uh, but hunters will will hunt moose and uh, eat it. You like you like the fries, yeah, but you don't do uh, don't do the guacamole, sacks. Don't like any kind of pastries. I find that hard to believe. There's so many different kinds of pastries. Have I tried moose meat? Yeah. My wife grew up on moose meat. They never had beef growing up. It was only moose. Guacamole. Can I get some guacamole with uh, with my meal, please? Bum, 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 bum. Bison's good too. Yeah, it's expensive. The uh, one of the butcher shops here. It, it, when it's in season, they sell uh, hot dogs, like smoky hot dogs, but made from bison meat, and they're really good. But they're like three dollars a smoky. It's really expensive. Uh, Heisen, yeah, that's uh, apparently the first part of my name. Pretty picky eater. Okay. When I was your age, I had to eat dirt mixed with wood. That's right. We ate dirt mixed with wood, and we liked it. And it was good for our immune system. Burgers made of bison where I work. Yeah, bison burgers are good. They're expensive, though. Bison burgers, 98% pure beef. Um, I remember... Uh, 
I remember like when McDonald's would advertise 100% pure beef and people would uh, people would spread the rumor that's actually just the company name. The company's called 100% pure beef. It, the patties themselves aren't. <laughs> Soft cheese in a can. Okay, posing a health risk apparently. Okay. I, mean, I guess maybe we can't get canned uh, cheese in uh, Canada. Kim Jr. White, that's right. Uh, vinegar, oh yeah, you're talking, still talking about the guacamole. I'm tired, Grandpa. Too bad, back in my day, tires weren't even a thing. That's right. Back then, our wagons had square wheels. Craft Easy Can Cheese. Well, if they ship it to Canada, then it's probably allowed in Canada. Um, your life will change. I've never been a big fan of guacamole either. I'm not a huge fan of avocado, so... Your cilantro dilemma. Cilantro is good, but it is a very powerful taste. Everything though, plus from third-party sellers. Yeah, but you can't you can't ship it to Canada. They wouldn't allow it. Just because uh, just because a website sells it doesn't mean they could just break uh, laws. I'm gonna look this up. I'm gonna look it up. I'm gonna look up uh, canned cheese. Uh, Canada. There we go. I want to see what it says. I'm not uh, seeing anything here about uh, being banned in Canada. Let me see. Uh, plant that's related to cilantro. Cilantro? Really? Even more powerful tasting. It's a strong taste. You're here, Chris Reed. Where have you been? Where you been? Thanks for 107 likes. Don't forget to hit that like button. Would love to hit 200 likes. We went off, we started off real strong with the likes. We slowed down a little bit at 100. Um, cilantro and coriander are the same thing. Well, it's the same plant, but it doesn't taste the same. Isn't one, isn't cilantro the leaves and the coriander's the flower? Blasted that like button, might be broken. Oh, geez, I hope you're able to do it for the next one. 110 likes, there we go. Keizo's uh, superior, you like that? All this food talk because uh, I was forced to, to put uh, Cajun uh, chicken to eat that against my will. You're lactose uh, intolerant and you love cheese. I'm a, I'm a little bit lactose intolerant, a little bit. Sometimes I can have it and sometimes it uh sometimes I can't. They taste completely different, right? Exactly. You still eat, and that's true. I'm going to I got to tweak the recipe for next uh, next time. Cheese doesn't have uh, enough dairy in it. You heard from a viewer. Define dairy. What do you mean dairy? Dairy isn't an item. It's not an ingredient.
Uh, white rice boy with pinto beans. How do I eat Oreos? I just bite them. It's a commodity. Okay, so sounds like uh, when you say cheese doesn't have dairy in it, that doesn't make any sense. Yes. Dairy, I believe. Somebody could correct me if I'm wrong. Dairy products are products that are made from a cow's milk. So, by definition, cheese is a dairy product. It doesn't, it doesn't contain dairy because dairy is not an ingredient. Now, if I'm wrong, somebody can correct me and I will, and I will be corrected. Uh, goat milk. I don't think goat milk products are considered dairy products, but, uh, but I'm not sure. The guy who looked at the udders and went, hmm. I'm not lactose intolerant or love cheese and ice cream as well as milkshakes and milk in my cereal. I do like, uh, I do like milk. I do like milk, but I buy the lactose free milk. Beef doesn't have enough meat in it, I know. Cheese is made from uh, dairy being cow's milk is not a physical... Cheese is made from dairy being cow's milk is not a physical product. I have no idea what that means. Welcome returning channel member. Um, Dorian Dysart coming in with the 14 months of channel membership. Hashtag luck for chem. Thank you very much, man. I appreciate that. Uh, you get extra good boy points in Islam if you go hungry while fasting. Yeah, because if you're not hungry, then it's... It's like, what's the point, right? Defeats the purpose, I guess. Sucralose and glucose. Glucose is uh, sugar, naturally occurring sugar. Anytime we eat carbohydrates, our body breaks down to glucose. Sucralose is an artificial sweetener. Um, um, welcome returning channel member. How are you doing, man? Prosk. Are you asking me? I'm doing good. Or are you asking Dorian? Most dairy things are made uh, from a process of cow's milk. Well, I, I think, isn't that what dairy is? Made from cow's milk? What what would be considered a dairy product that is not made from cow's uh, milk? Yeah, tastes a lot sweeter than uh, than glucose. Same with uh, same with aspartame. People people don't uh, maybe realize aspartame is um, has the same amount of calories as sugar. It's just you need a whole lot less of it. You need a lot less aspartame to achieve the same amount of sweetness. Butter has, no, it doesn't have dairy in it, but butter is still made from like cow's milk. It's just they churned, uh, they churned it and they get the cream out. Clarified butter isn't made from cows. What did they make it from? Yeah, it's like a, th something like that, a thousand times sweeter. That's why it's essentially, you say calorie free because, uh, you're using about a thousand times, uh, Less. What percentage of apple is fruit? That's what I'd like to know. Clarified butter is made from... Oh, from butter. Jeez. Oh, man. Bum, ba, dum, bum. Let me see here. Let me look this up. I gotta, we gotta, we gotta get to the bottom of this mystery here. It's another mystery. It's not mystery Monday here. It's Friday, so maybe we gotta, we gotta get this factual Friday here. Uh, define dairy.
Uh, a building room or establishment for storage, processing, distribute. What the heck? Oh, that's like the, the place. Okay, adjective. Containing or made from milk. Here we go. Eggs are dairy? Nope. Eggs are not dairy. Bum, 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 ba -dum. American cheese count as dairy? Uh, yeah, if it contains milk. Zero percent? What the heck? Did it say milk or cow's milk? It just says made from milk, so I would assume then... It maybe it doesn't uh, doesn't have to be a cow specifically. Nah, your tea is not da dairy. Tea is not uh, made from uh, milk. You can add dairy to it, but the tea isn't. You dislike American cheese? I like it for a grilled cheese sandwich. It has a real nice melt. We can't uh, get American cheese. We get the we get the craft singles. They're similar to American cheese, but they taste a little bit different. But next time I make a trip down to the U.S. for some uh, shopping, I'm gonna pick up some American cheese slices. Yeah. Um. Applewood smoked gouda. That's a uh, ooh perfect melting point. Okay. Yeah, I need a good good grilled cheese with some bacon in it. It's really good. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. My daughter literally just came downstairs, closed my streaming room door, and then I heard her run back upstairs. I'm nervous now. Fire Red, a Gen 1 Pokemon game. No, it is a Generation 3 Pokemon game. She's planning. Yeah, I'm gonna have to like, uh... I'm gonna figure out what she's doing. Not, uh, not too subtle. Not too subtle there. All right, I'm gonna be, uh, there's a chair sitting in front of the back door. I need to go investigate. I'll be, uh, let me do one reset here and then I'm gonna go investigate. Anytime I see a chair by the back door, I think it means they're grabbing the garage door opener. All right, I'll be right back. Not shiny, what the heck? I don't, uh, I don't know what the heck was going on there. Not even shiny. Well, they would probably need it or a food to get in there. No, why? <laughs> no, I'm not keeping the door closed. Because I want to be able to hear what you girls are doing.
Tell me why you want me to keep it closed. Well, if she can explain why, then maybe. Floor God, we're not allowed to have this event, man. Says Eric. Hey, careful, man. I'm only in uh, episode three here. Don't uh, don't give me any uh, spoilers here. 114 likes, getting very close to 125. No, keep it open. It needs to be open so I can hear what you're doing up there. Well, why do you need it closed? Cause why? Yeah, what don't you like to see? What, a chair? Well, then don't look inside. Well, then uh, then just don't look. Uh, the, yo, yeah, I know Sasuke. I know exactly what's going on. It's fair and liking the new thumbnail. Glad you liked it. Glad you like it. Hey, the answer is no. The door will not be closed. Fine. No. Hey. There's a boy with him upstairs, maybe. Maybe they snuck somebody in the house. Nah, they didn't they didn't do anything like that. First it's uh it's I didn't I don't want it closed, my sister does. And now it's uh there's something in your room I don't want to see that uh, that I don't like. So I have to close it in case if I come downstairs. <laughs> my side hairline, yikes. What do you mean yikes? What do you mean yikes? Come on, Fishy. What are you talking about? That is rude. Making a potion? That I can see. Bum, bum. Still nothing there. Here's a chair is Mankind Mick Foley. Yeah, he, man, that guy's crazy. Doesn't like the chair, reason enough. They're up to no good, I know they are. Um, um, um. You're looking snazzy, thank you. What uh, Pokemon game is Gen 1? Pokemon uh, Red, Blue, and Yellow. And uh, I guess Pokemon Green too, like the Japanese uh, version. Setting up decorations for my surprise birthday party. Yeah, maybe. Maybe four months early. Yeah, Pocket Monsters Red and Green. Side hairline is not that bad. Saw your glasses and thought your... Oh, sides were bald. You thought this was like uh, just a bald strip there. Show, oh yeah, your English Pokemon Green, that's true. You got one of the rare copies. Yeah, 31.48 million copies, that's crazy. Just gonna forget the Let's Go games are Gen 1? They are not, they are Gen 7 games. Pokemon Let's Go or Gen 7. Uh, generation is a time is a time frame. There, yeah. Let's go. Games are generation seven, but they're remakes of of generation one games, but they're gen seven games. Yeah, don't uh, don't get confused uh, thinking that the generations and the regions are the same thing. BDSP is Gen 8, yeah. 
Think of generations as like uh, as seasons. Season one of Pokemon contained red, blue, yellow. Season two contained gold, silver, crystal. Season three contained uh, ruby, sapphire, emerald, fire red, and leaf green. Yeah, the generations are time frames. Whatever games uh, came out during that time frame, that's what generation they are. <laughs> you like Gen 4. Diamond, Pearl, Platinum, Heart Gold, Soul Silver. Do you consider Alolan Ninetales to be Gen 1 or Gen 7? It is a Generation 7 Pokemon. That's when it was, uh, that's when it was uh, uh, created. Stadium is Gen 1, Stadium 2 is Gen 2. Yeah, I'm not sure how it works with like non sort of main uh, series games. Right, Legend Z will be a Gen uh, 9 game. Season 4 of the Chem Nation show, that's right. Uh, season 5 starting soon. Emerald is undisputedly the best game. It is a good game. Heart Gold, Soul Silver, Platinum 2, yeah. Heart Gold, Soul Silver, fantastic games. All right, come on now. 117 on the likes. Thank you, everybody. I believe Arceus is considered a mainline game. Him in new Fortnite season when? No Fortnite. Uh, organize like game engines no I don't think so I think whenever we get a brand new region that's what kicks off the next generation but they're like time frames so with the release of Scarlet and Violet we're now in generation 9 so any game that comes out is gonna be a generation 9 game until we get the new region you know, the next, the next big game. Type of team that I wish to build. I really, I don't even know what ty what the types of teams are. So no, I haven't put too much thought in yet. You like Alolan Ninetales so much that your top six favorites. It's a beautiful Pokemon. Scarlet and Violet has pulled me to the point of complaining that I haven't got any shiny after the second sandwich. I know, right? I know, you get, yeah, we better link up. We will. Lads and lovies, what's up, Abdazur? Shiny Hunter almost my whole life. Look at that. I didn't start Shiny Hunter until like five years ago. Gonna eat something for lunch. Okay. I, 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 I should know this. But I actually don't know what the date of my very first live stream is. I know it's in March. I know it's this month. Potato, potato. Yeah, that's uh, that's a thing. Well, potato, potato. I know what you're saying, though. But uh, is it gonna take longer than Arceus? That is a strong possibility. Month is half over, I know. Oh, a shiny haunter. Playing a PC or an emulator? Um, Devesh. I'm playing on my PC using a Game Boy operator. So little device plugged into my PC and then I just put the game cartridge into it. And there we go. First live stream is on March 21st, okay. So we're almost we're almost five years now. Almost five years of live streaming. How much was Arceus? It took us uh, fourteen thousand seven hundred thirty-eight. It is currently my longest shiny hunt, and um, there's a good chance that uh, that this Deoxys could pass that. Oh, you got Zapdos and Ultra Sun Phone Mation. Congrats on that. About a, oh, about a month ago. Okay. 
Should I hunt for Poipole and Ultra Sun? I say yes. I say yes. Hunt for the Poipole. YouTube Shorts today I saw that uh, how to learn Chinese videos are popping up. Now you're addicted to the language. It's a nice language. When you faked your shiny reaction, wh for for which uh, which reaction was that? Time wise, uh, for Arceus. Um, yeah, I'd have to figure out the exact time. Oh, the Haunter. Oh, when I when I read it, what do you mean? I didn't fake the Haunter reaction. Uh, Mew didn't take this long, no. Mew took me 7,134. So I'm, I'm 1,500 encounters past Mew. Shiny Mewtwo is the first Mewtwo in your life. I'm the first person in the entire world to have their first Mewtwo as a Shiny. Um, no, you're not. I'm sure there's uh, plenty of people who got a Shiny Mewtwo on their first... First ever Mewtwo. Shiny Ditto and Let's Go's a top tier chem reaction. We'll have to bust out some of those reactions for the uh for the memberathon. Uh, yeah, it's well any language be is difficult to learn if you if you don't grow up learning it. Hoping to get this today though, that would be really nice. It'd be nice to, to move on. Of course, uh, the longer this takes, the more exciting it's going to be when we do. Oh, Kadabra, the fake, yeah, the fake Kadabra reaction. <laughs> the world's fakest reaction or something, that video. I should take some of those old shiny reactions. And... Um, and reformat them into short uh, formats uh, videos. Get them up in the shorts feed. Remember the LGMSOS reaction? Yes, that was a good one too. <laughs> is it shiny? It is. Now uh, let me catch it. <laughs> Just no, absolutely no reaction at all. If you scream, are you going to scream if I get it uh, shiny? I don't know what I'll do. What happens is, right now you're watching Chem Nation uh, 1. Right, you're watching Chem Nation personality number 1. But as soon as the shiny goes on, there's like, uh, as soon as the division of the shiny goes into my eyes, there's a, a switch that flips and then Chem Nation personality 2 takes over. And he's the one that reacts. I can never tell what he's going to do. Overflow uh, dripping from the patio roof. Uh, melting snow. Okay. So just, uh, just the dripping water there. Nice and soothing. Terrible shiny reactions. Gotten so many you just say hello. Big cheese. Now you were not the world's first Alolan champion. I got video proof of that. That I was. Fast forward gameplay helping a shiny because he playing a PC because I'd consider that to be cheating. Uh, will not scream. I will start dancing. Okay. You'll be like shiny Deoxys. Yeah, yeah, shiny. Now the kids are going up and down the stairs. I think they're bringing stuff up and down. You don't want me to see. That's the joke. Will I do the gritty if I get it? No, but I might do the floss. All right, 123 likes. We're almost at 125. Yeah, we didn't get it then. Shoot. Love the thumbnail, my dude. Uh, thanks. Glad you like it, Chinese. Just, uh, pretty much just put the odds in there and that's it. But, uh, yeah, I, I like it a little bit better. Due to floss, yeah. Cam, I have a saying for you to live by. It even works in the streams. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm listening here, Zax. 
125 likes. Thank you, everybody. Let's get that new one pinned up there. No shiny yet. The ranting is an, of an unjumped zealot. Make for tedious listening. You call me a zealot? Watch the Ditto video, man. What a trip. I know. It was like, ugh, what a roller coaster of emotions, that stupid Ditto. He's saying that I rant too much and a tedious listening. And people having a hard time, they just don't want to listen to me ever again. I need a new water. Where the hell my water is gone? Somebody drank it all. What's the worst vegetable ever made? I don't know, maybe cauliflower. That stuff is nasty. Huh, did you say something? <laughs> Eggplant? Um... I, what, what did you say sometimes? Now I'm remembering that uh, line from Dumb and Dumber. Oh, yeah, we broke up. She said something about how I never listened to her. I, I don't know. I wasn't really paying attention. <laughs> Brussels sprouts. Yeah, that's good. That's good if you're trying to punish your kids, I guess. Brussels sprouts. You got one more saying. This is a cool saying. Okay. Need some cauliflower to mashed potatoes. I knew that it went funky right out of the gate. You try to sneak something into the food. Do I like broccoli? I do if it's cooked. Steamed broccoli's good. JJ, you go to just to, you got your phone? Just Google it. Quickly tell me secretly what the hell it is so I can sound smart. Uh, even in uh, numbers, a weakling is a weakling still. I don't know what that saying means. Pumpkin sweets are really good, though. Pumpkin sweets? Broccoli cauliflower mix, you shouldn't even taste a difference. Uh, if you get the bro broccoli cauliflower mix, I mean, I don't love broccoli, but I can tolerate it. I just don't like cauliflower. Oh, quotes from Dragon's Dogly, you're playing it. Uh, pumpkin spice latte season? No. Cam, one thing I'm wondering about is the Game Boy Operator, is it hardware emulation or software emulation? To be honest, I don't know what the difference is. It could be software based. I don't know for I don't know to, to be honest. I think it might be software. Kirk, what's up? What's up, Kirk? Bum, 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 ba You've got no shiny luck. Yeah, what is that? 36%. I mean, that's better than zero. Kirk 4D. You walk into the bathroom after Kirk's been in there, your whole life is going to be in 4D for a while. <laughs> oh, the Galarian Tauros, your favorite Pokemon. Yep, but it's a good one. <laughs> Your life will be done more like it. What a gorgeous day out. Three degrees Celsius. That is that is just lovely weather. That's like almost forty degrees Fahrenheit. Um, 
50 is the highest you can get. Well, don't spam it in the chat, but I bet on the next one you're gonna get more than 50. You know what the guy said? Uh, you know that guy that said if you don't get the Deoxys under encounter, he would release his shiny Deoxys? Yeah, he's never been heard from again. Oh, Trico, you're getting Violet soon. Send all your Pokemon, uh, normal Pokemon there, except your gameplay Pokemon, okay, that you've grown with, okay. Hunt the Gen, uh, you're gonna hunt the Gen uh, 9 starter Pokemon. Yeah, that's a good one. I still gotta finish those. There you go, JJ. A zealot is a person that has strong opinions about it. There you go. I don't uh, have uh, bought home. Oh, you haven't got home yet. Okay. Test out the streaming platform called Kick. I gave it a shot. I was impressed by one thing. It was about half a second latency. That's really impressive. Name a Pokemon that is spelt the same uh, backwards and forwards. Um, I would say Eevee and uh, Loma Mola or two. Pokemon won't shine in, in three checks. Big Cheese coming in with an unpopular guess. Yeah, you're not allowed to, to do the giraffe rig line or for a giraffe. I didn't read that part of the message, but he said except for that. We need a legendary Z Mega Evolution. Yeah, neither of those are, are acceptable answers. Golem, Arbok, Spelt the same backwards and forwards. Milog! Oi, Milog! Didn't they find a fossilized log? From a Viking? Bum, bum, bum. This P alien will have to shine in the next check. Yeah, Big Cheese said three. Look at this, 86, 86. And it's not uh, shiny. Gollum needs a mega. <laughs> you love that pen. <laughs> Fossilized Viking log. Would you run from a shiny Deoxys for $200? It'd be tempting, but no, I couldn't do it for that. Uh, I couldn't do it for that. I, I can see maybe, maybe, maybe for five hundred dollars. Uh, uh, all right, uh, JJ, you you go go ahead and you have those fantasies, but uh, keep them to yourself, please. Got a feeling. That uh, Gypsy Danger that I'm gonna get it today. I, I like your feeling. Why do Gengar and Alexander get a Megan and Golem can't even get one? Yeah, or Machamp. Shiny Enter for Amistar. Let's go, Eevee. Uh, 43 Helix Fossils, currently at 450-ish. So 10% of the way to odds there, Kirk. You assessed with uh, Miley Cyrus new looks. You could probably find some posters online you could put up in your bedroom. Probably online. Yeah, that's well, Machamp does get the G Max. That is true. Would you run away from Shiny Deoxys for a uh, thousand new subs? Ooh, that is tempting. Are these, are these permanent subscribers or are these just people who quickly subscribe and then unsubscribe? You have, hopefully you have my fossil, yeah, good luck. Yeah, I got some really early ones. It was my last Kabuto that took forever. But even then, it wasn't that long. Watch the first lives. P.A. Roll it. You missed the first lives word, I would miss the shiny, but you might still see it in the end, that's right. Pharaoh, uh, Pharaoh, Pharaoh Fawcett, yeah, poster up. A Pharaoh's Fawcett. Man. What's up, Game Joy Nick? 
mimics the original system as well as it can. It will read the data on the game, including the save as is, no strings attached. I think then it's, pr uh, I think, I don't know. I don't know, to be honest. I think it's software based. Uh, shiny charm in the game. No noob check. There's no shiny charm. Nope. In a head shake. Yeah, because you just say the nonsensest things ever. <laughs> <laughs> oh man mew three mew tree era fawcett michael jackson oxy clean guy and the first dog passed away weeks apart from each other wow no faucets in ancient egypt yeah it'd be 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 ancient faucets Billy Mays. Okay. Chrissy's back. New Mega Arceus Evolution with the signature move No More Light, which is a reference to Let There Be Light. Instantly lets you win the match. That uh, would, would never be a move. Ba, 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 ba. <laughs> All right, OxyClean. We still sell OxyClean scrub free products at work. It's an amazing uh, bathroom cleaner. There you go, JJ. The power of Oxy. The power of oxygen in your cleaning. That's right, if there were no faucets in ancient Egypt, then how did they wash out their microwavable bowls then? Checkmate, Carson. That is game, set, and match. Uh, did you have any save that on a cartridge before using the operator? Um, I had save data, yes. When I first plugged it in, yeah. Try to write soda, sodium metabisulfide. I would assume some sort of sodium compound containing uh, two uh, sul sulfur uh, ions uh, in into it. I don't know why that's coming up in your autocorrect though. Yeah, I figured you were joking. I know they would never take like 10 turns to charge. Sent you an asset to utilize on your overlay, free of charge. I can already tell you with 95% confidence that I will never use that thing you sent me. And I was correct. Savon sells scrub free too, okay. I'm not sure why you're telling me this. I could add a counter. That sounds like more of a you thing than a me thing. You have a bidet cam, no. No, I live in North America, so. Uh, save that to remain unchanged when using it with the operator. Uh, but, well, you plug the cartridge in, it loads your save file, you play the save file, you save the game, and then that save is on the cartridge when you take the cartridge out. 35 inch Deoxys huggable plush if I need it for the hunt. Is it, but is it a shiny Deoxys? Toast and peanut butter. Good, good combination there, Chrissy. That's always a good one. Time for the bye byes. Take care, Prosk. The normal orange. Hmm. I don't know if I like that. Use it as a drinking fountain, Kirk. As long as you keep it clean enough. I don't know what we're gonna get, uh, Eric. 
Oh my gosh. The weather, little weather icon in the corner of my PC on the monitor here. It says tomorrow temps to plummet. Temperatures to plummet tomorrow. We're going to go from a high of plus six Celsius to a high of minus three. Sodium metasol, uh, metabisulfate chemical used to make candy, candles. Okay, there you go. Chem used yawn. Will we fall asleep on the next turn? Maybe. And matchsticks. All right. Gonna get you yawning. This rain has me rubbing my eyes. Okay. They should do a Chem's Shiny Arceus event, because I don't want to do the hunt. Yeah, where they just get, uh, they take, they, they release it through through an event. It's got the same uh, trainer ID that I had, OT of Chem. If they did, did that thing, you know how, how much of an honor that would be? That uh, thousands... If not millions of people are going to get a shiny Arceus that originated like in my game with my name in it. You know how cool that'd be? Comes in a Pokeball as well. My, su my subscriber count would probably go up by at least two dozen. Yeah, not in a Cherish Ball would come in a Pokeball. I wonder how much... I would have to pay the Pokemon company to 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 push that out. That's right. If ancient Egyptians didn't have microwaves, Carson, then how did they heat up their leftovers from Olive Garden? Shooting too high with a two dozen. That's right. I was in a, a MatPat video once, the Game Theory video about uh, shiny hunting. There was a clip, and it said, you know, clip uh, courtesy of Chem Nation or whatever. And, uh, you know, the video had over a million views. I think I got, like, maybe three subs from it. <laughs> it was, like, barely anybody. Nah, it's not locked. It's a 1 in 8,192 chance. I'm only a little bit over odds. Bum, 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 ba, dum. Trick question, Egyptians would never eat Olive Garden. Oh, it's called a McDonald's of the Italian cuisine, really? Yeah, because we all know like the pharaohs in Egypt and stuff, they, it's all like uh, part of Italy. So they don't, uh, they don't really like that too much. How about a, a giveaway where the winner gets a shiny that Kem hunted in his life? Um, I've done shiny giveaways before. Woo. Boom, 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 boom. Look, if there were no electrical systems or outlets in the desert, how could they plug in their lamps to read their books at night? Seriously. This is just common sense, Carson. Bum, 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 ba -dum. Bum, ba -dum. Uh, every time I hear this soundtrack, I feel like uh, I'm in Hong Kong, a place I've never been. Use those really fast lizards and hook them up to hamster-like wheels. Oh, to generate electricity. Yeah, okay. Herc's been to the desert. I've seen electricity in person there. There you go. <laughs> Gonna get back on that growlith hunt. Uh, don't be surprised if my chat messages slow down. All right. 
Good luck, Muffin Man on the Growlithe. I know you catch combos getting uh, getting pretty up there. I've never seen the option before. They come to your house to pick up your return. Must be new. I mean, that's a pretty cool uh, thing if they're offering it. It's not, no, it's lemon colored. Bishi. Been through the desert on a horse but no name. Felt good to be out of the rain. Uh, two humps for extra power, that's right. Well, that's where I think the, the camels store the electricity in the, in the hump. They're like basically big battery packs. He could choose back in the ancient time, that's right. In the desert, you can't remember your name. Cause there ain't no one for to give you no shame. Or pain or whatever this song is. Ordered, uh, your mom ordered eyes and things for her crochet. Okay, new glass eye and whatnot. Missing parts, texted you, start a return, uh, where they come to your house and pick it up. Oh, so your mom said that, you didn't check, but then you checked and they do offer that? Coming to the apartment March 16th, okay, to pick it up. Camel power for that reason. Yeah, we call it horsepower. Oops, I, I totally just reset without even checking anything there. The straw breaks the camel's back. That's right. So your mom, is she returning to glass eye? Or is she returning to crochet things? DS or PC? I'm, I mean, I'm playing on my PC using a Game Boy operator. So it's a little device that plugs into your PC and then you put your cartridge into the device and you can play it. That was the shiny. Well, to be fair, I uh, I didn't see it. So if you didn't see it happen, then it didn't happen. That's uh, isn't that the fact truth of life? Googly eyes and eyelashes, and it was missing the eyes. Okay. So she didn't, she didn't uh, order a glass eye. Didn't even bother to name the horse. 131 likes. We're only 19 likes away from 150. If you haven't hit the like button, then make sure to do so now. So she didn't order a replacement glass eye. So the one she has is, is still, <laughs> is still perfectly good. No, it wasn't a shiny. It'd be impossible to tell. Oh, she still has her eye. Ugh, so she still kept it? Got scared for a second. No, I didn't reset over there. Schrodinger's Deoxys. Yeah, we have to assume that it's both shiny and not shiny. Hints to stop procrastinating. Set alarms. Schedule, uh, schedule breaks. You call me a weirdo, but you're the one talking about people losing their eyes and keeping it. Keeping the eye in a jar, like, I don't know what you're going down. Write down your plans, your deadlines, yeah, create a schedule. Alright, from 10 o'clock to 11 in the morning, I'm going to let myself play some video games. But from 11 till 12.30, I'm going to work on my essay. Then I'm going to give myself a 15 minute break, kind of try, try that. Random mind mobile ad, uh, mind mobile ad midstream. Okay, I'm like your assistant manager. 
handsome, funny, down to earth and truthful. Is Deoxys ever going to shine? Yes. Yes, once you write down your plans. Okay. 10 o'clock a.m. Start writing plan. And then you can give the rest of your day off until tomorrow. Nord VPN ever sponsored me? I've gotten fake Nord VPN sponsorship offers. And when you click on like where where the email is coming from, then it's like some weird uh, weird uh, email. Free trial to YouTube Premium. It ran out. I haven't gotten an ad since. Well, that's nice. Are you sure that uh, when you took the free trial, you didn't actually sign up for automatic uh, renewals? Because um, that's often what happens if they give you a free trial you accept the free trial but then within the fine print it says then you agree after the trial ends to go on to the monthly plan or whatever procrastinate so hard you even forget that's right yeah eric trying to buy me a shiny deoxys this guy all right mighty munchkin Take care. Five more resets and you're out of here. Okay. Armaru. Rathor is going to be 95,000. Come on. It's not going to take that long. Boom, ba -dum. You accidentally bought a year subscription to Canva because I forgot to cancel before the free trial. Isn't that scammy? Here's the free trial, but after the trial ends, you'll be billed for an entire year. Like, that's crazy. They'll refund it. Oh, I guess maybe Shinies knows this from experience. You just do the trial and immediately cancel. That's what I do too. Sign up for the trial and then like, before you even do anything, you cancel it right away. That way, you still get the trial, but it won't renew automatically. So some companies, if you if you cancel the trial, then it, it just ends your trial. Still free YouTube, but okay. All right. Not getting any ads. Well, that's nice. My ear itches. Uh, getting like $20 off at Suncoast if I sign up for a free magazine subscription. It was a hassle to cancel. Worst mistake of my life. When I was younger, I signed up for one of them, uh, those book things where you get the first, uh, you know, four books for a buck each or something. And then you have to buy so many after. And I thought, why the heck not? I've been buying books anyway. And then, um... And then they sent me books or whatever that I didn't request. Like, I know they have, like, every, every, they, they signed you up for automatic monthly books or something unless you cancel them. And I would always cancel them. But then there was, like, there was, like, some special edition holiday book that they sent, like, without notifying me. And I returned it. And then they never, ever, like, refunded the money or something. Or, no, I, I didn't pay for it. And they kept saying, you owe us this money for these books. And I said, no, I returned them. And they said, well, we don't have a, we don't have any, uh, we don't have any record of it being returned. And I said, well, I don't care. Like, I'm not paying it to you. And it was a big, it was a huge hassle trying to like get that thing worked out. All right, get to work, Armaru. Yeah, I heard if it's foggy out, it counts as snowy, which is good if you, if you're going to do, uh, if you're looking for the snowy, um, pass form in Pogo. Columbia House, back in the day, they canceled. They send her tons of CDs for years, even after she canceled. Now, did she get to keep them, or did they keep charging, uh, trying to charge her? Yeah, Columbia House with the CDs is crazy. It, it's nuts trying to cancel those things. 
they make it so hard they entice you with the cheap prices and then they they make it like impossible to cancel she was never charged oh, okay well that's pretty nice i used to have a gym membership uh, at a different gym because they had a rock climbing wall and uh, part of the gym membership allowed you like 20 hours of rock climbing per month and then they took the rock climbing off but because i already had the membership i was still grandfathered in for a year so then after the year ended and the rock i was wasn't a, it, my gym membership didn't include the rock climbing anymore i went to cancel it and they're like, well, he's like, I can't cancel it. Only a manager can cancel it. And I said, well, then can you get the manager? No, you have to book an appointment with a manager to like cancel the membership. And I had to like wait like a week or something. I'm like, well, I don't want to pay, have to pay for like a week worth of gym membership. Like I want it canceled now. Sorry, this is just our policy. So I actually I had to book an appointment to speak to somebody to cancel my membership. It was a pain in the butt. And they got to do this exit interview. How did you like the gym? What brought you to the gym? Why are you canceling your membership? Do you think you're going to come back to the membership? What if we offer you this instead? Like, no, just cancel it, please. I don't, I, I don't want to be part of a member here anymore. Hey, Amanda. Bum, 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 ba -dum. By the time they stopped five years later, the entire discography of singers. That's like crazy. Five years of CDs, though. Yeah, gym memberships are a pain in the butt to get out of. Depending on the gym, some are easier than the other. Deox is a weird Pokemon. Not a favorite. No, Fishy, you don't like it. Yeah, Ademir, I'm over odds. I'm over odds by about 500 encounters. It will shine eventually. I got free gym at work. Yeah, that's nice. When I was uh, when I was teaching, the school had a, a really nice uh, gym facility in there, and uh, so I, I would go like uh, every day at lunch lunch hour, and they had ba they had everything I need. They had all the free weights and the barbells and all that. They had some machines. But I think my gym membership, the one I have now, is like $30 a month. It's not too expensive. 11K? Sorry, Kim. That's your prediction? 11K? She did the first initial 99 cent thing, canceled the next month. They never stopped coming. Okay. But I think, isn't it like you, you when you sign up for the 99 cent thing, you, you agree that you have to buy like so many more at full price? And then after you you fulfill that portion of the uh, contract, then you can cancel or whatever. Shiny, your worship is the Beldum line. Yeah, best. It is It is a beautiful shiny. I do love shiny Beldum. Subscription service sends you a vinyl every month. I like that vinyl is like, people still like vinyl. It has a different sound. Years start coming and they won't stop coming. That's right. And they won't stop coming and they won't stop coming. I got the... I got dill pickle salad for lunch. What is that? Salad? But instead of uh, leaves, it's sliced up dill pickles. Um, No Deoxys. 136 likes. Thank you, everybody. Called up to gym to cancel. I moved and your location is now too far away from me. Okay, we need uh, you to come to the gym in person to cancel. I literally moved. So either you cancel it or I'm going to get a charge back on my credit card. Oh yeah, okay. A couple months later, the bank uh, bought, got bought out and the gym didn't have the new routing number.
Vinyl is a very complicated form of music recording. Okay. How much do I bench? Um, I think currently, currently I can, I can do 210 pounds for one rep. Special treatment on sales at work. There you go. They put the sales on just for you, JJ. That's it. You're on a diet, so having uh, a lentil stew. Ooh. I don't like diets. I don't think a di going on a diet is ever a good thing to do. Uh, at least not long term. You really need to focus on, on, uh, on your actual fixing nutritional habits. Because a lot of people that go on a diet, they'll lose weight. And then they go back to eating like normal. And then they just gain the weight. Yeah, regularly two bucks, but it's on sale now for three. It's hard to, I know portion sizes are so big. And uh and, and you get a you get a plate of food, you feel like you should eat the whole plate. Not not the plate itself, but you know what I mean? Eat the food on the plate. And uh, but would yeah, but you got it's the portion sizes are really big here in North America. The best way to lose weight is to eat fewer calories per day than you burn. Is that true? Uh, to an extent, yes, it is. But you don't want to eat too many calories fewer than you burn because then that changes your metabolism and all that. You want to figure out what your daily uh, daily intake is based on uh, your your lifestyle. Do you work a de at a job where you sit at a desk all day, or do you work a job that you're out in the field all day working? You know, or uh, do you go to the gym? Do you run? And then once you figure that out, how many calories your body needs, just to break even, you back it off by a couple hundred. The main character's friend in blue is Kevin's brother from Home Alone. I did notice that. I thought he looked familiar, so I looked it up just to be sure. Incorrect Nintendo. What do you, what? 500, uh, please. What is a portion size? It is the size of the portion. Love leftovers, pizza, and Chinese food, yeah. You should get the shiny charm. Yeah, I should. Why'd you switch from emerald to fire red? Because it's faster in fire red than it is in emerald. There's a lot of aspects in losing weight, but at the end of the day, it mainly comes down to eating fewer calories than you are uh, burning. Bum, 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 bum. Or do you stand at a desk all day? Well, you know what? Apparently, standing versus sitting, by standing up, instead of sitting down on my live stream, I'm really only burning like an extra nine calories or something per hour. It's not the only factor. I mean, it basically is. Right? You, you can't gain weight if you're not eating enough calories. Just like you can't lose weight if you're eating too many calories. There are things you could do to make the process harder or easier. But, uh, but at the end of the day, it's, it's mainly just calories in versus calories out. If you spend less money than you earn, your bank account goes up. If you spend more money than you earn, the bank account goes down. Now there's other, there's factors and budgeting and all that can uh, streamline the process, but that's pretty much it. I live an active lifestyle, eat like a horse and maintain my weight at 180. That's because you're burning more calories than you're eating. 
Well, if you maintain your weight, you're burning about the same amount of calories as you are um, eating. Bum, 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 bum. One time my bro's friend uh, shared his Pokemon Emerald with him, started playing, was confused because Wingle was green. Oh, oh no, he thought it was a glitch. He knocked it out. That's true, Big Cheese, but then yes. Then you gotta sweep up all the calories off the floor. All right, take care, Fishy. Why do you think I spend most my money on food? You don't spend most of your money on food. You spend most of your money on rent. Come on. Love food, but I hate. I need to buy and eat a lot. Yep, you do gotta buy food. One of them's Roombas, they'll sweep up the calories, that's right. Chick-fil-A and nuggets and fries for lunch. It's pretty good. Overpriced, but it's good. Hey, Carter. Four to five hundred dollar difference. In, in buying food and rent, yeah. Called Hefty Cheese. Um, nope, I didn't. Big Cheese said, if you fart more, then you have less calories. And then Hefty said, then you have to sweep up all of the calories off the floor. Today's a good day, got promoted at work. Tamha, congratulations on a promotion. That is awesome. Thank you for the luck with the Deoxys. Or maybe I actually did call him Cheese. Who knows? Nobody could figure it out. It'll be one of life's uh, greatest mysteries. Dieting that I could think is eating a low calorie dense food, fill your stomach, and satisfy your hunger hormones. That's right. At the end of the day, calories are calories, but if you eat a lot of sugar, it's not going to fill you up. You get an insulin spike, you're going to be hungry again real later. Uh, or real soon. Later on. And, um... Eating the right foods, yeah. Will help keep you full. Since I'm my own boss, I can promote myself whenever I want. That's awesome. Stay within $400 a month on groceries, right? Now imagine uh, being a family of four. That's a huge W. Yeah, getting the promotion is nice. Family of four, yeah, two, two of those people live rent-free, usually. Today is a good day, just didn't go to work. What? You didn't go? You were here yesterday, too. Two people live in my head rent-free. Bum, 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 bum. Now, if you're gonna live that dink lifestyle, you're doing a good. Uh, you you doing you're doing pretty good, maybe. That's right. I know. I know people who go that route, and it can be pretty sweet financially. That's for sure. Um, bum, ba, dum, bum, bum. Well, I mean, that's assuming uh, everyone eats the same amount. Uh, the kids don't eat as much as we do. Bum, 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 bum. We also have two incomes. So uh, it's not uh, it's not like double the rent. An inhumane amount of food. Well, I I've got two girls. So when they're teenagers, like I know, I know boys, when they're teenagers, man, they'll like 
eat everything. The moment it can, you come home grocery shopping the next day, all the food's gone. Thankfully, that's not uh, not typically the case with the girls. Six hundred a month for food for the four of us. There you go. Kirk's got the got the budgeting skills down. Kirk knows how to spend the money. Three day weekend last weekend, our last minute. That's right. And I guess you are um, you're working Sunday though, right? That's six hundred U.S. So about eight eight hundred Canadian. The U.S. also has uh, some uh, cheaper grocery prices than in than in Canada too. I think dairy products in, in the U.S. are quite a bit cheaper than in Canada. Bum, bum, ba -dum, bum, ba -dum, bum, bum. And chicken, yes, chicken is a uh, chicken is cheaper in the U.S. for sure. Is it bad that I'm okay with TikTok being banned? Is it being banned though? I got no issue with TikTok. Really? Though my kids probably watch too much of them. Hundred thirty eight likes were only twelve away from one fifty. Was hoping to hit two hundred today. Seems very unlikely. Tension spans lower and lower, that's true. The 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 short form video content, it's hard to stay focused on uh what one th whoa. I lost my equilibrium there just for a bit, but uh, but we're back. But yeah, hard to focus on uh, on one thing for a very long time. Have you been to the army? No, I've never been in the army. Did you see Nancy Pelosi with a tic-tac-toe speech? No, I didn't. How many people are acting like if it gets the ban, the world will end? Yeah, it won't. The world will continue. There are some creators uh, on TikTok who rely on that revenue who will be looking for new work. But other than that, I, I don't uh, I don't know that it's really going to cause uh, any harm. It'll probably uh, do better. Retail and groceries are out of control. The wars are getting brutal, sadly not resolving. Uh, and the UN is trying to prevent it from coming to North America. Are you talking about the, the Ukrainian one? Um, ba -dum. Ba -da 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 -da. Back to vines, yeah. If if TikTok gets banned, then it'll just be uh, it'll be uh, schmick schmock. It'll be the next one. And then, and then that'll grow, and it'll just be another one, and another one. If banning TikTok, then the next one's just gonna come up, and it's not gonna be, it's not really gonna make any difference. Uh, subscribing to other people on other social platforms. TikTok creators are going against TikTok, at the same time promoting subscriber channels on other platforms. Well, there they go, you can, they can move people over to the other ones. But nah, it's not going to be the end of the world. Free spy information. Has that ever been proven, though? I don't know that's, that, that there's ever, that's ever been uh, conclusively proven. That they're getting any sort of significant in information from that. Didn't Trump send some people to spy on China, though? Canada's never lost a war. I'm not sure that Canada's ever really been in any wars. Welp, I'm done with social media. 
Yeah, they're just going to move to new platforms. That's right. Oh, you got some mythicals and that the weird core bacon. That's the rarest one. That's pretty cool. Yeah, they participated in, in some of the world wars. Though I think... Which war was it? Good job, that's really nice. I'm trying to trying to remember if it was what war it was. But um, it, it, they sent Canadian troops, but Canada was like never never officially recognized as uh, as being part of the war. So like all of the veterans of that the Canadian veterans did not get any sort of recognition for it. Yeah, that's right. Chinese spy balloons made it all the way almost from, yeah, the West Coast to the East Coast under Trump. That's right. Why can't I think of a war? Um... Eighteen twelve, both world wars, Korean War, and then. Uh, but there's another war that Canada actually did fight in, but they were not like officially in, so they didn't get uh, they didn't get a, like any credit at all. Like any of the Canadian soldiers, like they didn't get any sort of recognition. Uh, you believe news from TikTok before TV? Well, it depends on what TV network you're watching. From a balloon and a pelican. Yeah, except that Biden looks like he's got his wits even more than uh, Trump nowadays. People love to talk about how Biden falls asleep during interviews, which was end up being a big hoax anyway. Or that he mumbles, even though he's got a stutter. And then you get Trump talking, he doesn't even know what city he's in, doesn't know the names of the world leaders. You're trying to say uh, Nancy Pelosi, or trying to say um, Nikki Haley was responsible for the security on uh, January 6th. Um... Y'all, I, I did watch Kirk. I did watch the uh, the State of the U State of Union uh, speech there. He did pretty good. He did pretty good. He does have a stutter though, which is a medical condition. But don't let his uh, don't let his talking do, because the president really doesn't uh, do everything, right? It's who they appoint that matters. Um. Two second news, yeah, before any any news uh, channel, that's right. But uh, all I know, yeah, you can't really f uh, fault somebody for having a stutter, and then you get uh, Trump is li literally like making fun of his stutter on TV is pretty pretty bad. But you just gotta look at the economy. That's it. Don't don't worry about uh, who's who and what's what. Look at how the economy is doing, right? When 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 even Fox News says the economy is doing really well, you know it must be. You should uh, look into an app called Ground News, Kirk. It's um they basically any news story. They, they compile all of the uh, all of the articles from all the different uh, news sites and you can see which ones uh, news sites are left leaning which ones are right uh, leaning which ones are center uh, leading uh, and you can read the articles from different the same stories from different uh, news sites different perspectives. When did he say that, Muffin Man? Old 
old pappy from up on the mountain. Yeah, always 100% unbiased. Wildcats. The Wildcats. Ooh, get us to complain over things you never have control over. Yeah, some are better than other. Oh, High School Musical, okay. Oh, years ago, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. You know, looking at somebody's past is okay, but uh, really, you look at the look at their current current views are sort of uh, what's more important. Come on now. Can't have change when a real player is 80 years old and up. Yeah, well. Need some uh, fresh faces in there. I saw, yeah, I saw Biden and Trump are now officially the two candidates. Not like, not that anyone ever believed that there was going to be any anything else, but. But at least uh, it, it appears that. Uh, it, 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 le at the very least, Biden is still probably the most progressive president that you guys have had in a long time. But you guys, you guys go and vote in, 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 uh, in November. I'll watch. I'm here in Canada. Our elections next year, 2025. 8,800. I know it's crazy. Yeah, pro union as well. Yeah. No Deoxys, Ozil. Nothing yet. You've gotten the Cant in this time frame. You've gotten the Canto starters in Fire Red Leaf Green and Eevee. But you've been. You must have been really lucky then, because I'm only slightly over odds. Well, the, Kirk, Kirk, the, uh, the economy is doing actually really well in the US by, by the same metrics that they always use, right? Inflation's come down, wage growth is up, um, stock market's at an all-time high, gas prices have come back down. Um, you know, what, like 300,000 new jobs created last month. I mean, like I said, even Fox News, yeah, GDP growth, even Fox News is saying that the economy's good. 2006 tried to say the point was he applauding the growing Indian American diversity in Delaware. Okay, so I could see that uh, that the message was nice, but the way it was delivered, it sounded really bad. Okay. Current leaders on the pandemic and current economy. Yeah, the whole world is true. If one country is like inflation is super high, and then all the other countries it's not, then maybe it's an issue with the country, right? Right? Gas prices are up. Well, they were up all over the entire world. So you can't really blame any one country for that. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. Unemployment is really low as well. The PEOP. Just like pointing the fingers. The people. At first, I thought you meant the Pope. <laughs> the Pope's pointing his finger. How's that uh, Pope Francis doing? I heard he's had some health issues recently. Bum, 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 ba -dum. Ba -dum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. I want, I'm curious, I, I, I don't know, this is an actual answer, because I, I don't really know. 
I wonder how much the president of the United States like actually does because obviously they're not writing the laws you know they're not putting the new bills in they may be directing things but I mean they literally have I don't know how many people work in the White House right they delegate people to do a lot of the work and they sign off like I wonder how involved say the president is on any decision that gets made because I actually don't know Cam, can you clone this Deoxys when you get it? No, I can't clone it. I can't be doing that, Derek. They did, yeah. Operation uh, Warp Speed. That's the one thing uh, the Trump supporters still boo him about. The Chips Act, yeah, that's that's good too. The Inflation Reduction Act and all that. I'm down, I'm down with a vaccine. I could see people being skeptical like early on, but I mean with, with literally hundreds of millions of doses administered worldwide, like we can we can see pretty much how the vaccine's doing. They could see what we wanted to see. Well, it's not they, right? This is collective information, literally from worldwide. Is worldwide we could we can see. It's not just kind of one one number that somebody's coming up with. Uh, I heard though. I actually heard though that uh, what what wasn't really done good with the U.S. vaccines was the price control on it, because apparently the the U.S. Uh, they're charging like crazy amounts per dose compared to the rest of the world. I know how you feel. What was this? I saw. Was it in Germany? This, old, this uh, elderly man got like 40 doses of like the vaccine or something. He kept going like every every so often, he kept getting a vaccine shot. And the doctors were like recommending against it. And he like 43 like his shots or something. I can't remember. It was a lot. It was a lot he got over the course of three years. And they found that it had absolutely zero negative impact on his body. So... more and more information uh, send me a dm kirk because i'd be i'd be curious to see what information you got on it free and proud now i'll get i'll get the booster shot every every chance that i'm uh, that i can Freedom information facts dot truth is probably the site. Could be. Um, Hundred forty two likes here. Oh, that's right. You get that. Well, that is proven beyond a beyond a reasonable doubt. Yes microbes and turns us into 5g carriers that's right they got the, the microchips in it just like uh, just like the bill gates uh, growing meat in a peach tree dish that when we eat it it gives you a zap and then it turns you away from real meat <laughs> take your chances you had a pretty bad though didn't you is you I think I with pneumonia as well. The lady who said you're magnetic when you had the vaccine, yeah, tried to hold a magnet device, didn't stick to her. <laughs> yeah, I I had the flyers delivered to my house about how they were going to install like 5G towers somewhere close and that we we should all sign, sign a petition to like 
prevent the 5G towers from being set up. It's uh, some uh, some interesting stuff out there. Oh, she had it twice. I I've had it once. I've had it once. Yeah, if you don't want to get it, and see, I think they've shown too that the vaccine doesn't really do much, at least the COVID one, doesn't do do a whole lot for preventing transmission. So at the end of the day, you're really only putting yourself at risk, whether whether you did, whether you decide it's riskier or not to get it or to not to. But um, if it's not going to really prevent you from spreading it to others, then it's it's more so a, a, a personal issue than another people issue. We do, we do, yes, Kirk. We've got uh, plenty, plenty of uh, numbers to show that that is the case. Yeah, there was an old man, I think in Germany, he got like dozens of COVID shots or something. Like, you're supposed to wait, what is it, six months or a year? I can't remember. You like stirring it up. I know, Kirk, you do. 200, is that what he got? 200 shots. That's crazy. Yeah, and then they found that his immune system was not really negatively uh, impacted. Like, I think even the doctors are recommended, like, stop getting these shots. Like, you don't need that many. Stop it. But he was doing it anyway. And it uh, turns out it didn't, uh, didn't affect him in any negative ways. <laughs> yeah, that's a typical argument, Muffin Man. From, for people who don't understand how vaccines work. Similar protein structures. We had the Legos. We just added a few pieces. Yeah, that's they got it done quick. Measles on the rise. Yeah, I saw in the U.S. there was uh, there was uh, a couple cases there of um, polio in the U.S. Polio in the United States. Uh, it was almost a decade since the last case, and I think it was what last year. That's right. Big Cheese got it. Big Cheese says it to right. Vax or not, left, right, Republican. I love y'all regardless of your bad choices. That's right. Uh, anyone that had bad side effects? I don't think any of that was covered up. I don't. I don't uh, see any cover up of that. Yeah, it's it's too exactly. Healthcare shouldn't uh, shouldn't be uh, it shouldn't even be a political issue. I believe that uh, that everybody should have the right to healthcare. You think the government is truly for the people? To an extent. To an extent, I don't think they're just entirely for themselves. Um. I think uh, one, one, the one, one political car party is more for the people than the other. I uh, by no means think uh, the government's perfect, but uh, but I, I'd say that uh, it's certainly a lot better than it would be without a government. That's for sure. 
Canto News tried to cover up the meteor landing. I could see them doing that. I could see them doing it. It is one Guinness, Guinness Book of Records that will never fall. Wait, what, what, what is, Eric? Guy wants democracy means a government by the people for the people and of the people. Oh gosh, who said that? I didn't finish the rest of it. Oh, to 217 shots. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Like, that was even against the doctor's orders. 600 checks for the Helix Fossil. Hope you get it soon, Kirk. That's a nice one. You copied it. Oh, yeah, from a, from a Facebook, a YouTube comment. On, uh, on the story, yeah, that's a, that's a lot. Too many. Um, you can find okay on YouTube, yeah. Sounds like something maybe like George Carlin would say. No Deoxys yet. Look at this. Almost at nine thousand here. More than 9,000. Two party system is one, yeah. In the US, it, it, you get, it's either, I mean, you could run independent, you could do anything, but. Uh, you know, right now, in the November election for you guys, it's going to be one guy or the other. There's zero shot at it being somebody else. In Canada, we have multi-parties. I mean, on a federal level in Canada, it's always been the Conservative Party or the Liberal Party. But we often have what's called a minority government. So one political party gets the most amount of votes, but it's less than 50%. So then they have to work with the other parties. Uh, favorite football team. Look at the policy and what you agree with. That's right. I know when I pick my favorite football team, I always, the first thing I do is I look at their policies. Because I think in the U.S. you have to have like a majority, right? Of the electoral seats. But in Canada, you just have to, your party just has to have the most amount of, of seats. It doesn't have to be 50%. So you could win with like, say, 36% of the seats. Right? And then you get like 30% with the other, 32, whatever it is. And then we have the Green Party, the People's Party, the Bloc Quebec, NDP. We got all the parties. The big two didn't win? I don't think they ever did, didn't they? In the US? I don't know what that term is, Chinese. Thirty years since a Republican president won the popular vote. It's been a long time. Random lottery of elected officials. Anyone over the eight, age of 18, you could put and then that's it. It's just random who gets in. It could be, it could be even me. Vermin Supreme, there we go. That sounds like it would be uh, absolutely terrible. Because uh, the uh, you'd have almost every seat run by somebody who's never held political office before, who has no idea how anything works. My guess is that the people, if it's a, if it's a lottery, 
as in everybody has an equal chance, there'd be a much higher percentage of people entering who have never held office, who have no idea how politics work, than the actual, actual politicians. Vermin's running this year. I thought you were joking. Rain coming. I might have to go uh, bust out the umbrella and see if I can get a rainy cast form shiny. A Shawshank Redemption. That's right. That's what it was. Bum, 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 ba, da, da, da. Bum, 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 ba, da, ba, da. All right, here we go. We're at 143 likes, only seven away from 150. First election, Andrew Jackson, uh, John uh, Quincy Adams. None of them got the electoral majority of 270. But it still went to Andrew Jackson. Okay. Oh, even though it got more electoral votes, was picked as the winner. Interesting. Okay. Isn't it now though? You have to have you have to have the 270. Like if if you don't get 270, then there's like a re-election or something. Or what what do they call it? I don't know. They gotta hold some uh, something else. Man, are we gonna hit nine thousand on this sudden death overtime? With the, the kids are being pretty good. I I'll go a little bit longer. They sound like they're being pretty good. I can hear them up there. But sometimes when they're too quiet, that could be, uh, that could not be a good thing. Sometimes, at least when they're fighting, I know that they're not up to no good. Oh, sudden death overtime. That's what they call, uh, that's what they call the, the revote. Okay. Today in American politics, sudden death overtime. Uh, okay, if it neither reaches 270, it's up to the house. One vote per state. Interesting. What if one had like say, like what? What is the vote? What is that? Like what does that mean? One vote for what? Like, what if one party had 269 and the other had, like, 265 and an independent had to rest or whatever? <laughs> Both candidates, 999%. The first hit, oh, halfway to Siberia in uh, Smash Bros. You have to play Smash Bros. Melee, okay. Melee. Smudge's account got banned. That's uh, too bad. I think it was to prevent uh, people uh, pre to prevent Smudge from chatting when you when the main account was timed out. Yeah, I think what happened is you got timed out before JJ, and then you just logged in on the second account. Which is, uh, you're not allowed doing that. You're late! Forest Monkey, just in time for the shiny, maybe. Yeah, well, listen to a fellow. Okay, I see what you're doing there, Eric. 
He was under the truck. What? How far behind? Yeah, he might be like uh, so far behind. Oh, is that actually the doctor? Still nothing there. What is going on? Could be. You could be, Eric. I thought you were I thought you were quoting yourself. The dust is settled. It's safe to enter the chat now. That's right. We're gonna move on from that uh political talk. I I get sucked in. I love talking politics, but I you shouldn't uh, do it uh, that much. Guess everybody riled up. Almost 9k, that's right, Tom. We're almost at 9k. 1 in 8,192. So we are over odds. We're not uh, not terribly over odds. But we're still over odds. Let's talk about uh, talk about food again. I've got this uh, nice plate of jello here, but it's got somebody's old stapler in it, so I'm not sure I'm going to eat it. I got uh, I got this delicious uh, de de delicious plate of uh, of jello of gelatin dessert. But there's a there's a stapler in it, so I'm probably not gonna eat it. Okay, you heard that bread is 36 percent grain. 36 percent. I actually have no all, all I have no, I have no idea if, if that's accurate or inaccurate. I I really have no idea. The girls made it so far. Water is wet. No, we know that it isn't. Come on. Settle down there, big cheese. Dairy isn't dairy. Dairyland milk. Could eat around a stapler, that's true. Season is chicken and the chat is very eventful. I still have some of the, uh, the seasoned uh, chicken breast. After I took it out of the oven, I let it rest for a bit. Then I sliced it up and I let I let the chicken, like the, the, the sliced part of the chicken, soak in the seasoning juice. And uh and I was expecting a taste explosion. I'm like, yeah, it's pretty good. But I mean, like, so is the salt and pepper chicken. Savoring that chicken breast. Well, it's still sitting there uneaten. So uh, I'll let you come to your own conclusion about that. You score your chicken. Oh, do you? Okay. I should have, uh, what I should have done is, uh, is, uh, let the, let the, uh, chicken, uh, marinate in a nice, uh, brine solution for a little bit before. Yeah, you score your chicken on a scale of 1 to 10, or is it more like a 5 star kind of deal? I offered a piece to my wife of the chicken, and she said, no thanks. And I offered my kids, and they're like, they didn't want to eat it either. Yeah, I took the chicken breast out and then I kind of forgot about it till like nine at night. So I didn't really have time to let it soak in a brine after it was thawed out. Not, uh, you're not surprised. Not surprised that they didn't want to try it or that, uh, or that I forgot about it. Sophia Leone, who's that? I should know who that is. Oh, it's, oh, you're talking not surprised, pretty common about them not wanting to try it? We're gonna move past it. We're gonna move past it all. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom. 
Buttermilk fried chicken. Yeah, I'll look up a recipe. I can I can't fry chicken. I don't know. Anytime I try to fry the chicken, it always like gets burnt on the outside before it gets uh before it cooks on the inside. I guess I gotta reduce the temperature. But like I'll be having my pan on low, low heat and it still burns. Cajun recipes, yeah, that's what I made. Cajun uh What oil are you using? I, I have the canola oil at home. Uh-oh, you wish you didn't look that one up. Um, what what's going on now? What do we do? What do, what do we get or what did I get myself into here? Peanut oil? Yeah, I thought about uh, picking up some peanut oil. What about taking the chicken breast and slicing it into like making thin slices of it and then just giving it a nice little uh a nice little coating and then uh, and then frying it up. Oh boy, 148 likes. We're only two away from 150. Nothing on the Deoxys yet. Double the batter if you want. Memeing, uh, what I was describing is scoring the chicken. Isn't scoring the chicken like just cutting some lines in it? I was talking about like actually taking slices, thin slices of the chicken breast. Season my buttermilk, okay. Yeah, that's what I meant, like actual cut it into like thin slices of chicken breast and then just quickly just uh, dip them into seasoning and then put them into oil. Then it wouldn't take that long at all. Self-rising flour, cornstarch, okay. Onion, garlic powder, and your buttermilk. Yeah, I, I did. I did some uh, paprika. I did some um, uh, why can't I think of the name of the spice? I don't know. It's uh, some kind of a spicy spice. The name for some reason is on the tip of my tongue. I can't think of it. I u uh, I used onion powder, garlic powder, salt, pepper, bit of thyme, bit of oregano. I put some brown, a little bit of brown sugar into it as well. Not chili powder. The other one, the other one that's kind of like chili powder. Um, not that. Why can't I think of it? It's literally on the tip of my tongue. Um, uh, cayenne pepper. That's what I put in. Yes. Thank you. That's what I put in. I could not think of it. I could not get it out. That word for the life of me. You put that in everything there, yeah. It's got a very strong taste. Very strong taste. The entire house smelling good. <laughs> yeah, right. Come on, man. I'm gonna actually have a piece of that chicken.
That is so good. Mmm. I love this. Mmm. <laughs> I'm thinking of Kevin eating the broccoli from the office. That was a good scene. 149 likes. Thank you, everybody. I think we're going to take this up to 8,900. And then we're going to call it today. I would go longer, but the kids are home with me, and I do want to give them, uh, give them some attention as well. Reset the chat. The messages weren't coming through. Yikes. Yeah, 8877. No shiny, but we're coming up to 8888. Look at how close we are. Pre doing his cartwheel. Yeah. <laughs> 8888. That's where it's at. Yeah. Creole seasoning. Um, oh, yeah. I didn't. I didn't have any of that. I know Sax was talking about that. Not superstitious, but I am a little stitious. I love the writing on that show. It's so good. They did they did a fantastic job. All right, we're at 8880. Yeah, Creole, Creole seasoning. Now is that is that when you when you, is that a is that a, a seasoning a blend of something or is it like one sort of thing? Like Cajun Cajun seasoning, if you buy it in a container, it's like a blend of spices. Is Creole seasoning a blend or is it like an actual just like a one thing? It's a blend. Okay, gotcha. All right, it says light rain. Let me open up Pogo real quick. And uh, and see if I got myself any uh, spawns here. And it's not showing rain, though. I'm just seeing the regular cast form things in here. Yeah, nothing there. Food again? Yeah. Good, good food conversation we can all get down for. Politics can be fun, but yeah, some people, they get, uh, politics uh, can be very uh, divisive. Eric bought some flatbread pizza from Costco the other day. It's, uh, that's the plan for lunch. It's gotta be better than a fast food place, right? Uh, maybe. Could be. So what would you what would you find in a in a Creole seasoning blend? What the, what kind of spices would you typically find in there? Why do you think you avoid the news? They, there's a saying that says ignorance is bliss, and uh, and it can be very very true. You can look at what's going on in the world right now. But uh, really, as one person, you not there's nothing you can do to change it. So, um, still no Deoxys. Eighty-eight, eighty-five. Catfish would be good. I've never had catfish, but. Uh, I've heard that uh, some people, they would not want to eat catfish, but I, I, I would try it. I don't think there's many foods uh, that, I, that I wouldn't uh, want to try once. So one time Costco, we we're doing samples of pickled eggs and I chickened out. I was going to have one and then I chickened out. I didn't eat it. One piece from this restaurant to see how it tastes, and let's just say I know where I'm eating next time. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if there's any places around here that yeah, we can get uh, catfish. 
We hit like goal 150. Thanks for the 150 on the likes. We are only going for another five minutes or so, so I'm not going to pin up another one at the moment, but... Uh... All right. Here we go. 88-87. Not shiny. Two places in your area that have good, uh, good fried catfish. Pin this message if you dare. I, I'm too, ch I'm sorry, I'm too scared. I can't do that. All right, but here we go. 88, 88, 88, 88, 88 is why it's on the screen to be shiny. Could it be? Oh, it's not. Good stream. Thanks, Jerry. Fish is good at this place and I proceed to bite into the worst thing ever. Oh man, really? I'm not a big a big fish eater. Fried fish, I like uh, I like like fried walleye fish is good. Fried cod is good. But I'm, I never had like a battered battered catfish or anything like that. Bum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Now, do you just eat that straight up, or do you put uh, do you put something on it? Do you put a tartar sauce? Do you, do, do, do you put it on some kind of like uh, uh, some kind of hot sauce onto it? Just straight up, okay. Oh. 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 I bet you that'd be good. Uh, fried catfish sandwich. Put some coleslaw on it, maybe? Ooh, I think that'd be good. Yeah, that's what I'll do, uh, Kirk. That's what I'll do. Thanks for the 150 uh, likes. I do appreciate that. Not going as long today. The kiddos are starting to get a little quiet. I gotta, gotta see what kind of damage they've done upstairs. Slap your mama. That's a, that's a hot sauce brand. I never heard of that. I forget, I was at the, the local butcher and they had this hot hot sauce. I can't remember the name, but it came in a little container that was, uh, that looked like a porta potty or like an outhouse. And uh, I'm like, I don't know if I want that hot sauce. If a hot sauce comes in a little wooden box that looks like an outhouse, that, uh, that doesn't, uh, I don't think that's gonna end very well for me. They might have forgot to put it in the game, or maybe there's only one shiny per cartridge. And because this is Jerry's cartridge, they, um... Maybe because Jerry's already got the, the shiny Deoxys on it. There's an internal flag that even if you play the game over, there's no shiny. We are not. We are not, Eric. I gotta see what kind of damage my kids uh, kids have done. I noticed now that uh, that the the the, uh, the certain kind of discussion has ended. The, the views are starting to creep up a little bit. Colored greens. I don't think I have no. That doesn't even make sense though. That's. <laughs> I'm thinking of Michael's line about collard greens. <laughs> Colored greens, he called it. Saving the raid for the end of the memberathon. That'll be cool. We'll definitely 100% raid at the end of the memberathon. Even if I'm passed out fainted, we'll still out of tiredness and exhaustion, I'll still we'll still raid. I will check. Yeah, I'll check uh, check uh, after the stream there. I debated typing it, and I'm like, eh. I also didn't want it to, you know, to, to be taken out of context, especially if the shiny showed up.
Stinking up the house for the rest of the day. Yeah, I might have to take out some uh, some additional chicken breasts. Birthday stream. Yeah, Kirk's birthday stream. That's right. JJ the Power Man. That's right. And uh, you know what? I haven't had either grits. All right, two more encounters. We're at 88.99 for the second last encounter of the day. The stream blew by today. Awesome having so many people having it coming in, talking about uh, mainly food, it seemed, for the majority of the stream. But uh, here we go, last encounter. Last encounter. Here we go. I got my fingers crossed. We got the eyes crossed. Oh, but it isn't shiny, man. I love that you guys sticking here right to the very end of the live stream. I'm sorry that I let you down again in the non-shininess department, but there is always another day. There is always another day. Next week, uh, be, we'll, be, we'll be back doing the longer streams. You know, four and a half hours, five hour streams. I appreciate, uh, appreciate you guys hanging out. Let me say thank you quickly to Neo. Gifting. Ooh, that chicken's good. <laughs> gifting one. <laughs> gifting to one Chem Nation. Thank you, uh, Neo, for the gifted membership. Angelina Martinez. 15 gifted memberships. That is amazing. Thank you very much. Razzy flex in 25 months. Neo then flex into 13 months. Airy flex in 14 months. And Dorian Dysart. <laughs> also flexing the 14 months. <laughs> Take care, guys. Hope you have a great weekend. Good luck on the shiny. And make sure you get out, play some pogo, get some shiny uh, cast form uh, forms. Let me know. Post them in the, in the Discord server, too. I'll, I want to see your cast form shinies. Take care, everybody. Have a great uh, weekend. We'll see you on Monday. Bye-bye.